Fat, 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 we're the fat peeps. Hey, peeps. Welcome, Hi. everybody, to the Fat Peeps podcast. I am one of your hosts today, Joey Biscacci, and I am here with PJ. Hello. Cameraman John. Holy moly, it's me. Brandon. Hello. And Garrick. Ahoy. And we have a ton of great stuff to talk about today because, uh, of course, happened. Xbox had Whoa. their Series X they took a gameplay. They jump on YouTube. Yeah. It was huge. Um, but, Steve. of course, we like to do our icebreaker question when? of the day oh, before well, we really? get to the news. So, today's question is, what is everybody's go-to topping? On a pizza. Pizza. Uh, Who wants to start? I guess. I mean, I, I, okay, go for it. Anchovies. It's so, my anchovies is plain. It's pepperoni. But, uh, but uh, I like combos <laughs> of pepperoni. I do like pepperoni and bell pepper. Green mm-hmm. bell pepper. And I also like pepperoni and jalapenos. Oh, jalap- jalapenos. So good. But wow. no matter what pizza I get, because I'll eat uh, pepperoni and sausage as well. Whatever combo of pizza I get, I always put red pepper flakes on it. Just love it. Too good. So my problem with most places pepperoni. when you get something that has jalapenos on it it's is that, no, oh. they get the like canned jalapenos the pickled oh. stuff. that are like <laughs> super thick and really juicy. Yeah. And it just like ruins the consistency of the pizza. It, mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Pizza place. Right, you need to go to a place that actually cuts their... And that's the reason Fresh. that, like, generally speaking, Not. bell peppers are, bell. are always going to be good because right. you can't get canned bell peppers. Those, mm-hmm. have, those have to be sliced by hand. Right. So they mm-hmm. always are sliced nice and thin, so they crisp up nice in the oven, whereas mm-hmm. those, like, pickled jalapenos, just they just exude juice all over the cheat. It, it ruins over. the pizza. Absolutely yeah, yeah. ruins the pizza. Juicy pieces ruined. If you go to yeah. a good place Soggy. to get the jalapeno, though, like, it, it's the best of both worlds because it tastes like the green peppers. It has that crunch of the green peppers that you love and the freshness, but then it has a little bit of heat, and you're like, oh, God, so good. But Yes, indeed. Yeah, like, I got, like, the only time I've ever had like a pizza with like thin cut jalapenos that are like nice like that it was actually in hawaii and i got a hawaiian pizza and the pineapples were cut nice and thin and the jalapenos cut nice and thin so they like dried out and crisped up in the oven and it was Uh, caramelized oh yes uh toppers has i know you don't have it there i don't think joey but toppers has hawaiian heat which is hawaiian Hawaiian with that's jalapeno too right yeah. Oh my god. Well, pretty good. Yeah, typically well, Canadian bacon pork is pork, on it. pork, yeah. Yeah, it has like Canadian bacon or whatever. They and they're generous with the jalapeno. Mhm. Mhm. All right, next person. What were you saying, John? Oh, I guess I mean for my I mean I go with the classic combo. Uh it's pretty much oh. like an everything pizza if you got like Costco has a combo. Every place mm-hmm. I've been oh, has yeah. a combo. Mm-hmm. What is it? Mushrooms, uh, I think olives, bell peppers, uh, bell peppers, uh, Canadian bacon, pepperoni. Sausage, Jeez. yeah. So it's, it's a pretty much an everything so pizza. I feel like no. it's the safest bet if you have like picky people. You just have them pick them all off, you know, and and then everyone gets it, oh, anything they want. That becomes a nightmare. Oh, yeah. Then it's like picking yeah, the green I hard disagree M&Ms. on that. Well, that, that, <laughs> yeah, that's, it's you, more it's if more you have of a picky people. You get a cheese. No, no, yeah. no. It's it's more of a fuck you to the picky people. Oh, you know? okay. if you're so, picky, yeah. you just get breadsticks. Yeah, it, I, yeah. Or I you can't stand mushrooms on pizza. That's why you eat it off. Pick it off. Oh, speaking of mushrooms, olives. So mushrooms, it, again, with Joey's, it needs to be thin, needs to be crispy. Uh, I won't n- name the state, Ohio. Uh, we went there, and they had the uh-huh. worst pizza ever because I'm pretty sure they did the same thing. They took canned mushrooms, which are gross uh-huh. to begin with. How do you put it on the pizza? That's right, gross. It's right. It's like throwing a sponge into water. And just exactly. Like, I know. I the, I, it, it was uh-huh. the worst pizza I've ever had. I would have thrown it back at the counter. Use- well, mushroom. Like, why would what you do such a thing? Yeah, I don't know. The kids in This Midwest? is disgusting <laughs> and unpalatable to my uh-huh. Californian yeah, tongue. Exactly. Uh. Yeah, I would rather have avocados on my pizza. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh, Next person. 
Uh, I'll go. go ahead. Uh, so I'm a controversial guy. I like pineapple <gasps> on my pizza. Oh, yeah. It's oh, one no. of my favorite things from there. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, on the internet. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, uh, that's well, sucks. on the internet, I'll get flamed for it. Pineapple uh, so and olives. Pineapple, I, I, olives, pepperoni. Uh, oh, that's a good combo. Oh. Salty, sweet. Uh, I don't like olives. Yeah. Some I, about... Brandon, I thank you for that introduction. I know. That was a like eye-opening experience yeah. it, it almost was like uh, being brought to a, a new church to find a new religion it's like who thought vegetarian could be so good a vegetarian uh, the vegetarians Brandon, how'd you learn about this learn about this what combo. about this combo? Uh, no, pineapple, just, like trying yeah. different things together what you, you nice. experiment with food when it comes to pizza kind of <laughs> oh wow <laughs> yeah cool. just like i'm a food chemist by law i'm a pizza chemist yeah. Pizza mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kid laboratories that you bought at Toys R Us. Mm-hmm. With pizza. The, the, no, no, they had like the bug ones, you know, like you mix two bug flavor things together and you create this like different colored bug that tastes like berry. They're and like, apple. oh, the gummy They're... stuff? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I miss those things. Wow. Gummy stuff for your, gummy yeah. Stuff. Gummy candy. Make gummy candy bugs. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. All right, next person. Oh, so um, I would at first agree with Brandon, but but uh, oh. my parents have found a pizza place here in Camarillo uh, that makes a vegetarian style as well. No tomato sauce. It's oh, artichoke, no. tomato, and spinach, and it's to die for. It tastes really, really good. I'm I'm like, uh, well, this is not that's, pizza. It's not. And pizza. then I'm like pizza right or what i, I, I that? eat it i what? eat it and it tastes amazing and it's like a nice getaway from the classic pizza so is that what, what does it have on it again um so of course there's mozzarella it's very cheesy artichoke um spinach and then probably olives or something and there's one more thing uh but it's really 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 good and wouldn't that just I, be a focaccia is it, is it, is yeah, it all I don't know. red sauce or is oh, it all there's white tomatoes. Sauce? So instead of the tomato sauce, they actually put tomato like uh, uh, chopped up tomatoes, oh, chopped up. like chunky chunk tomatoes right. all over. It's yeah, it, what so. do they call those pizzas? It's not virgin, but the ones that like it's just the that with the feta cheese and the olive oil. The, uh, yeah, focaccia, right? No, Probably there's a, there's a no. name for those. I'm trying to pizza. remember right now. Um, is it? Let yeah, it's it's because I wouldn't. More Italian. I personally wouldn't call it a pizza, it, just because it doesn't have sauce. I, I feel like a a pizza, a pizza sauce? needs sauce. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. That's, 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 making, just a flat, that's just a flatbread with I stuff on top. Mm, maybe you haven't explored enough, Ben. It no, it does sound good. It's not. Yeah, uh, but I don't. I'll, I would. I would not consider that for pizza. I'll for, ask, and then yeah. I will uh, let you guys yeah. know because okay. I highly recommend it. That sounds good. Yeah, I can't think of any of the culinary terms right now, but I think I know uh, what you're talking about, PJ. Yeah. Oh, you're talking, talking about, about Neapolitan pizza. pizza? The what? Well, yeah, Neapolitan. Neapolitan. Neapol- but a Neapolitan pizza uh, has sauce on it. Right. Yeah. But uh-huh. usually, like, super thin. But yeah. it's thin and it's very it basic. It's just, Wait. like, some mozzarella cheese yeah. and yeah, it's some, very, like, very basil. I, like I don't I think, think I've, I've tried a classic Neapolitan, though. That's on my bucket list. Yeah, they're not. Not a lot of places make Neapolitan pizzas, really. No, probably because they're like personal size, kind of like they're mm-hmm. kind of small and they're built artisan, so you know. Yeah, and they're basic. You can get stuff on. Oh, them, you're probably thinking basic. of a margarita pizza pizza. Yeah, mm-hmm. that, that, margarita that, pizza that, that has that has sauce on it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it, okay. Yeah. I just used to like the olive oil, but I guess they just douse it in olive oil on the sides and the top. Uh, for usually, they finish with fresh basil on on oh. a margarita margarita pizza. Just mm. three, three, four ingredients. I just yeah, feel like it's, it's like... more simplified and more fresh. Mm-hmm. That's the beauty of like pizzas that it, sometimes it can be as complicated as a combo or as yeah. simple as four or three or even two ingredients. Right. Yeah. Um, Joey. Also, wait, I, I also, so we've confirmed, though, it's margarita pizza that you were thinking of, PJ? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I always thought you were talking about bruschetta. 
which is like oh, it's basically like like garlic right bread no, 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 no. topped in uh like a like a tomato Shit. like kind of vegetable spread generally Ooh. Um, oh, but you yeah. can mix it with a lot of things but like a basic one that you get in most places is just going to be like a tomato spread with like olive oil and salt uh, nice, nice, nice. Good. To I gotta try that. that. Sounds good. Like all these sound good. I don't know why we talk uh, about food at the beginning of the podcast. Why is it always food? It's, right. it's, it's torture. I'm fine. Everybody, everybody, eat. everybody hungry. It makes us I go think, fast so that we so get far, this done in a timely manner. <laughs> while we were talking, I think it's just called a Bianca, aka white pizza. A white if it doesn't pizza. have um, sauce. But isn't that a white pizza a white sauce? So does it have white sauce? Okay, because uh, let's sauce get thing. to mine, right? Yeah, okay, so okay, yeah, yeah. my go-to pizza, right, is a white sauce pizza. Oh, hot. With tomatoes, like diced tomatoes, oh. spinach, oh. Oh, God, chicken. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Right. These are all, everyone has Delicious. some good tastes. You all have good there's, tastes. There's like a um, topper. I wanted to try Topper's chicken version that has garlic all over it, too. Has anyone tried that yet? Because that's on my bucket list too. Oh, garlic! Oh. Wait, what? Yeah, sounds pretty the garlic, good. Garlic, garlic chicken. Oh, uh, garlic pepper. chicken. Yeah, anything garlic and anything chicken. And as long as it's not uh-huh. garlic crust, I feel like the garlic oh, butter no. crust is too much. Nah, too much. As I'm so, eating it, I'm like, this is gonna kill me. I know. Oh, oh God. Yes. Oh. Also, uh, so I want to give a shout out <laughs> to Pizza Guys. Uh, pizza guys my no. my friend was a driver for pizza guys for a long time oh never heard of that oh cool it's yeah like a local, same thing. it's a bay oh, area thing bay area thing nice, nice. yeah it's same like thing with toppers thing. it's a it's a local pizzeria chain here so yeah. not sponsored as anyway. well so uh, but but like at the end of the night right there would be like leftover pizzas or like you can make a pizza and bounce right so he would like make a pizza and a lot of the time, the pizza that he would make was a taco pizza. Oh, where it was like it was like taco sauce. Oh, I thought he like, folded the pizza in half. No, 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 no. It was like taco <laughs> sauce, and then it had like like a like a what? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, my mic keeps popping out. Oh. Uh, I don't know why it's not like connecting oh. very well. I'm doing the push to talk. It's not oh. working. I might just turn it off here in a second. Uh, but cheese, the cheddar blend, right? Mm-hmm. And then it had like diced tomatoes oh. and um, uh, shredded lettuce. Oh, okay. Interesting. It was kind of a weird pizza, but like we were into it. So shout out to the, to the taco pizza, pizza that you can get sounds, at Pizza yeah. Guys. <laughs> I, it's I, I, almost like the uh, pizza that we made at your house that one time, John, years ago. It was the uh, teriyaki chicken pizza. Mm-hmm. Oh. It was out there, but it was so good. Like sriracha oh. on top, and it was mozzarella yeah. cheese with teriyaki chicken, and we used uh, like a teriyaki sauce to be the internal. Oh, my sauce. God. I want to do I that. I think that's the beauty. See, that's the beauty of pizza. It's just like a blank canvas, and... It's, it's cool. hard to mess up the taste oh if you kind of know the basics mm-hmm. of, of yeah, but it's amazing like that people will still well, manage. It. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. like, like with you can like mushrooms. ruin the sauce, mm-hmm. like or too much sauce, too sweet, or too much sauce, or or we have a place. That's what I said. If you know what you're doing, I don't think you guys heard that, but. One of the yeah, one of the biggest mistakes that people make is to make so, so, uh, soggy pizza is too much sauce, so and so, too much cheese, too much toppings, right? Yeah, because because one time same. my brother's ordering pizza and we were ordering combo pizza, but the um I think the pizza place didn't have uh some sort of vegetable or something, and it's like, would you like to? Re- oh no, he didn't have a meat, like a <gasps> sausage or something. So like, well, would would you like to replace? the sausage that we don't have with something and my brother's like there just put extra vegetables and i guess the guy was like okay i'm just gonna pile it on that was a gross like one of the the most disappointing pizzas because like yeah yeah it was like into it no it was it was still moist it was like still very soggy just because the vegetables Uh didn't didn't roast or or get crispy that's well that's yeah it was sad before uh before he knew about olive and pineapple I, I don't know. 
This was for my family because my family usually wants combo. So it's like, oh, it had I guess, been he, after. I guess he was like thinking, it's like, well, what would make a, a combo pizza better with no meat? More, More vegetables. vegetables. It's like, oh, God. God damn it. So maybe, yeah. it, maybe just nothing. Yeah, yeah, just, just leave like, it. Right, it's, it's, fine, it's fine, I guess. Like, oh well, yeah. There's no extra meat. There's no meat. That's fine. Everything else is fine. Yeah. So, so yeah. going back All to right. my pizza. Oh, your pizza. Um, okay. Right. I was looking at Your this article, and a, a white pizza is actually uh, a pizza drizzled with olive oil and salt, and of course, no tomato sauce. No tomato sauce. No tomato Wait. sauce. So, so it can so be an Alfredo sauce, though. Just Ooh, never Alfredo. tomato sauce. Okay, but, so it can be anything. But yeah, tomato. but yeah, but this like this one looks like it doesn't have sauce. So I guess there could be some white sauce or no sauce at all. But I guess that's where you would categorize if you're wondering my artichoke pizza that i artichoke. hold dear to my heart well it probably has some you learn like something spread yeah. spread cheese or something as a base yeah, yeah, like a pizza. Spread, or like a garlic spread or something garlic like spread that. yeah yeah you know well you learn something every day mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. So yummy just like the a couple days ago when we learned all about new games coming to the xbox series x Oh wow! wow. The inside Xbox presentation. Did you watch the first look Xbox Series X gameplay inside Xbox presentation? Uh, I did. Name? Did you guys? That's the name. Much wow. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let what me guys? watch it. Oh wait, wait, no, wait. Keep time out. Time out. Time out. Give me twenty-seven oh, minutes. Alert! Alert! Oh wait, wait, wait. Panic! Pa- oh! We have Pokemon to talk about. Oh yeah, we do. Let's talk oh. about Pokemon this oh, week. Okay. I was about to say, I guess we skipped Whole that. Series. But I'll, I'll... <laughs> <laughs> okay, good good catch, guys. Yeah. Defcon Five Pokemon has been skipped. <laughs> oh, there was like breaking news happening rear, or something. Rear, rear, rear. Oh. Garrick, what's button, your favorite Pokemon? Peeps. No, wait, 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 we have to guess first. Okay, go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, oh god, that's hard because he doesn't play Pokemon. He right? doesn't. I don't. And that's, but he likes Gen this One. This will be fun. So it eliminates like okay. seven hundred of them automatically. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say he's a he's a he's a he's a Pidgey type. Yeah. Pidgey type. Well, person. also I don't know. Oh. I don't know anything after Gen 1. Maybe exactly. Gen 2. <laughs> so you can't like what you don't know. Right. Well, uh, Gary John, likes Mewtwo. John does does have a point, but I didn't go that way. Oh, damn it. What was that, Joey? I picked you for Mewtwo. Mewtwo, man. Oh. Yes. Oh, really? But, damn. I was going to say uh, Lapras well, yeah. for some reason. I don't, know, I don't know who that is. Is oh. that the one with the big mouth? That's the one that <laughs> looks That's like the one with the big rock on his oh back. Oh my god! Nessie, it's like the plus- yeah, yeah, the Loch Ness monster, monster with a shell in the back. Was that a plesiosaurus? Oh, what's Something what's like that. the what's the dragon like one that has a big mouth all the time? The blue one. Gyarados. Oh, okay. Why oh, does yeah. he have a big Gyarados. Mouth? Like flies can get in there. <laughs> what? Uh, but anyway, yeah, right? <laughs> he can close it now. Huh? Yeah, he can close it. I said he can close it now. Oh, okay. They fixed yeah. it. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was just like, I thought, oh, all the time. I thought he, he just had a locked jaw until he outgrew it. <laughs> he went to an orthodontist and got it fixed. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, that makes sense. Right, Brandon's turn. Yeah, I was surprised you got that on like your first try, Joey. Holy well crap. done, Joey. Um, I feel like Mewtwo's a cop out Pokemon. But, wait, you know, wait, 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 I feel like why Derek did... is the type of person who likes <laughs> yeah. powerful Pokemon. Oh, no. Why uh, you pick and as... what Pokemon oh, okay. is. Okay, That's you are like it was powerful. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, okay. Oh, let me oh. let me, before we go to Brandon. The oh. only reason why I like Mewtwo and I was the like going all movie. over is because I remember the, the movie, the movie, yeah. and how That's he had a he had a decent hero story, and he, spoiler alert, he became good in that. Yeah, the identity, so. identity <laughs> crisis. Yeah. Did you guys rewatch the? Redemption. Did you watch the remake of it? No, no, I couldn't get over the art style. It's so. I mean, aside from like yeah, the gar- garbage art style, the story itself is just garbage too. <laughs> it's I so bad. That was something that was already great. What? No, it it wasn't. No. It, it was the same thing. No, it's same story, just in what's CG. Up with the, yeah, what's up with that? the remakes? Like it's uh, a year remake. just re-release. But if you guys re- rewatch it, it's not a very good story. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Oh, the, the original well, no, it's a story. Children. Yeah, it's a Pokemon story. Yeah. It's not very good. It's like our nostalgia for it because I was like, oh, this is going to be dope. It's like, oh, wow, this is really dumb. <laughs> we got to all love each other. Pika, yeah. pee, 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 Pika. Oh, and then like, That's so we, beautiful. Can't, we can't Pika. fight. Violence is wrong. And then they go straight back to fighting I feel like Pokemon. I made this joke. <laughs> Probably. Uh, Brandon. Hmm. All right. Best for last. There are two that you can guess that will work. Chimchar? Me. What? No. 
What, what, what chimp tribe? Are they all first gen? They're are all they're both first gen. Okay. Uh, We're old. Bulbasaur? Nine uh, tails. No. Oh, Although that is a good guess. That is a good Meowth. 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 Uh, hmm. no. Okay. Arcanine. Close. Oh. Growlithe. Okay. Yep. Growlithe. Growl Whoa, uh, we're twins. Growlithe is one. You and John. Growlithe oh. is one. The other one. Meow. Uh. It, uh. Seems like a. Alakazam. Hmm. No. <laughs> That's so no. random. Okay. Um. Diglett. <laughs> Uh no, one. it's a starter. Uh oh. Oh, oh. I was on the Char right Char Charmander. Charmander. Yes. War Turtle. Char Wait, Charmander. Charmander. Char yeah, that's, Char that's a good Char one. I like Charmander. I like... I, I liked Bulbasaur, so that's why I said really. Bulbasaur. Yeah. yeah. Bulbasaur. I was... So I never really liked Bulbasaur until I saw the Detective Pikachu movie. That's when I was like, okay, I can get down with Ever... it. Ever since I was a child, I was a hipster contrarian, so oh. I picked. Bulbasaur, because everybody else was like riding the jock of Charmander and Squirtle. I guess I, I was the same him. way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> poor Bulbasaur was sitting in the corner reading his books, and the other two, like his cool sunglasses, Squirtle's like, Squirtle, scrap, squirt, scratch, scrap. Charizard. And everybody loves Charmander because he evolves into Charizard. Exactly. Not, yeah. uh, not Dragon, over Dragon there in the Corner. And Venusaur looks with his, awesome. With his so broken why... glasses. Yeah, <laughs> like, why did no one like Venusaur and everything? It's kind of lame. No, he was good. He's he's the <laughs> tankiest dude. He's super tanky. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I meant the visuals. Oh, I liked his visuals. Like compared to the other, like two, like, uh, th like their final evolution, Squir uh, Blastoise and Charizard were like dope, and then you had like this dopey oh. dinosaur with a flower. <laughs> it's I I'm, 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 so I'm into the flower toad. Okay. When I got my first Venusaur card. You had no nice, idea. Nice. I was happier than I ever could have been with Bulbasaur or uh, Blastoids or Charizard. Yeah. Granted, I had both of them earlier, uh, but Venusaur was like one of those ones. I opened it at, uh, and we were in San Diego at a hotel, and my dad was going back. I think we spent like two grand at this stupid little store. Oh god! Buying oh god! Carts. And oh my god! That's a little much. Constantly. That's... What? It wasn't that much, but it was a lot. It was definitely over two hundred dollars. Um, oh, and we came back to the room and I opened up one pack and the Venusaur was in there. I was like, oh, yeah. I'm so happy. Um, yeah. But yeah, that was my happy story with Venusaur. Nice. nice. So Xbox? Xbox, so Xbox. X, X, Xbox Series right. X gameplay. Wait, Can we get I need quotes 20 more that minutes. Gameplay? Yeah, gameplay. Gameplay, yeah. Hey, quotes around gameplay. Give me gameplay 20 more minutes to watch it. Okay. Okay. So there's a few few games. There. So we'll we'll just talk about it while you go ahead and watch it, I guess. <laughs> Someone uh, didn't do their homework. Right? No, uh so yeah, quotes on gameplay, because most of what was shown wasn't really gameplay, it looked like it was mostly like in engine footage. I think there was less yep. than two minutes of actual uh, gameplay. Yeah, Which probably these days, that's probably about right. I'm not impressed with in game footage because nope. last last week we talked about how they're using game engines to film movies these days so it's like it's not that impressive right and like i i i don't remember who it was but i heard it described as like no hud no gameplay exactly yeah right like, yeah, that's, that's a good that's way a good... to look at it yep like even if yeah. you're in a cut scene like that yeah right. you're still in the game but you're not playing it why would you call it yeah. gameplay i still think my favorite gameplay trailers are what uh, rock stars produce uh like grand theft auto and uh, uh red dead like, have right, you seen those? They go, they they go, go in depth. Yeah, and, like, they're like, this is your you character. This is the gameplay loop and stuff like that, which I love. I love that kind of. But stuff. anyway, let's start tearing through these. Starting from the top, we got a bright memory infinite. Uh, it it kind of looked like it had some uh, Titanfall influences. Mm -hmm. um, there are also you're also using a sword a little bit. Yeah. There's like a knight looking dude. Um, and at the end, it is uh, revealed that you are playing as a anime girl. Wow. Um, wow. Also, I didn't get there. fun fun fact: that one is made by one person. I thought apparently. that was rather yeah. impressive. I don't believe you. Yeah, I mean, hats off to him. Yeah, uh, or oh, but her. there is actual gameplay of it. It's not as impressive as. That trailer. that trailer shows. That trailer was like, oh, wow, this looks like a game I could get on board with. But then I yeah, watched I was... the gameplay, and it still looks like I could yeah. get on board with it. But at the I same did... time, I'm like, eh. 
I did not find that video engaging enough. Yeah. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. Was, yeah. I was more confused than anything. Like I thought story? I thought the pacing of it and even just like anything about it was super slow. So like the, okay. the wall running. Yeah. The the wall running part, they moved across the wall so slow. I was like, am I are they actually moving somewhere? It's just slow <laughs> down. Yeah. Imagine yeah, Gary just sitting there scratching his head like what's what's going on? Yeah, why is there a sword and why is Pantheon in here? <laughs> Where did the DeLorean come from? Yeah. Right? I was like, yeah. or is this back to the future? Poke his head out it's and like, like an, Marty, get in. It's like <laughs> an identity crisis. Like, do you want to be medieval or do you want to be modern? Well, I think that's that's yeah. the that's yeah, the right. that's the, the the cat like interesting thing oh, about is it, it is that mixture of kind of genres. That's the only reason why look it sticks out is it has like swords and. and <laughs> Marty it's like cyber in it. yeah yeah other than that it's yeah. i mean if you look at the actual gameplay like the real gameplay it's kind of it's meh clunky. i mean it's so impressive it's that one guy did clunky. it yeah but but i give yeah. him i give him a pass because he one person did it yeah but oh yeah that's cool is it gonna be worth playing yeah right but the, pl the trailer right. they showed is not what the final product is which yeah. is what pisses me off because it's like now people are going to look at what he's actually making and they're going to be really disappointed. It felt fluent in the the trailer. Yeah, and and it's not. Fluid? Yeah, it's, it's fluid. It's very like fluid. That's what I meant. Yeah, uh, it, fluid. It, when well, I mean, it could it could Espanol. be fluid in playing well. Flu fluid in stabbing um, people with a gun. But the problem with it is like when I was watching through it, it's just like okay, I'm in the air. I pulled them towards me. I, it's like yeah. it feels like steps. Whereas with the trailer, it was just like very, I'm flying, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, like so, uh, next sword. thing, like collect, connecting the yeah. dots of gameplay until you land again. Uh, I don't get that from the yeah. game, actual. Game and game. like nowadays, like that kind of gameplay is not really entirely original because like Doom now has like the grappling hook kind of mechanic and. A while back, a game was revealed called Witchfire um, that has, like, a grappling hook, too. So, like, grappling hooks in, in like, fast-paced kind of arena first-person shooters is not r original, really. No, not anymore. And, like, Josh Cox, and the wall, when it came out, was it, original doing it. Yeah, and, like, the running, the wall running is just, like, Titanfall stuff. Running. Right? Running. You know I was what I mean? running on the and wall. It, so. And it doesn't look as nice, either. Like, there's there's games that do it better, still. Well, yeah, one person. Of course, it depends, so, like, yeah. what price point it comes out at. Mm -hmm, if mm -hmm. it's super cheap, then yeah. maybe it's easy if, to jump on I board with it. But Yeah, I think it's, like, a $30, maybe $40 game. Mm -hmm. It needs to be cheaper. Uh, cool. Well, we'll have to see. Yeah. Moving yeah. on. Cars. Every cars. generation's got to have cars, mm -hmm. and this one's going to be Dirt 5. Dirt 5. And yeah. Man, look looks, at those cars. Looks like a dirt game. It looks, looks, like, dirt. It looks yeah. like cars. Looks like a dirt game. Got looks like cars. cars. Good for those driving people. I, yeah. I feel like this trailer is the only one that's actually what the game's going to look like. Yeah. Because right. Dirt yeah. is really impressive with its, like, all the games are really good. I think car game. games always have great graphics. It's just, I'm not a car person, so yeah, me too. I wish I, that I truck. was to enjoy it. Oh, truck. <laughs> truck. Uh, truck. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and like Dirt 5, it's, a, it's mostly, you know, uh, like rally racing mm -hmm. and stuff like that. It's not really like track racing. So, yeah. um, I think like that alone kind of pushes people away. I, I feel yeah. like when it comes to like the car racing genre, you kind have like NASCAR kind of, you have yeah. like the group that likes like Gran Turismo oh, and Forza. That's what I meant, yeah. And then you have the group that likes like need for speed and like the Forza horizon series. Mm -hmm. And then you have like a small niche group that likes that the like dirt kind of off roading yeah. series. Dirt, like it's the fun. street of race games. It's a rally racing. What? It's a rally, it's a rally racing. Yeah. It's, it's I don't know the difference. You're speaking Greek it's, to me. It's, it's off road. Greek. It's off road. It's off road yeah. cars. Okay, basically. so it's like the street of. Uh, no, there's no, no streets off road. No, no, it's dirt. It's, uh, dirt. No, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> like, I, in, wait, what's so I hard to understand? No it's dirt road. It's very dirty. Okay, you know, like NBA street. It's like the rules uh, are different. No, no, no. it's 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 a rally. Rally is a legit race race. Yeah, it's still rules. Yeah, it's yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like NASCAR. You're, you're, you're getting worked up like... right now, okay? <laughs> this is upsetting okay. me because I'm trying to make a point. Right. I don't know what the fuck I'm Tom, talking about. You're, you're thinking of fuel. 
fuel. That's a different trans. Oh, it's like an arcade okay. game. Let's yeah. put these yeah. one fuel name is the one games. where it's just. <laughs> It's just like because it's cars. get from point A to point B in the middle of the desert. Go. If we ever get yeah, big enough, game make a game okay. terrible Truck. because true. so basically, yeah, basically this is a real like this yeah, is realistic, a real game uh, or a real like uh, sport. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's really rally sport. It's, rally yeah, racing it's a, simulation. That's what I'm I was gonna get. To say, yeah. I'm gonna get chewed out by Sarah for this because I'm pretty sure this is exactly what our our uh, brother-in-law Who? does. Oh yes, uh, uh, kind of yeah. Uh, it's a, it, no, he it's does serious. short course. He does short course, but this is yeah, this is like like yeah. uh, the the long distance. What of, what uh, kind of uh, vehicle does he use? It looks like a it's car. A, it's a like car. a I don't know. Is it, it a almost, UTV? He calls it a, a rally UTV? car. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he does like short okay. short yeah. race off road races. Okay, cool. I mean, yeah. they cost enough. They should be yeah. considered some sort of rally car. Yeah, it's because... probably like rally circuit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what rather than like. Point to point, sprint car. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Sarah's so saying in the chat, car, it's okay. used as a sprint car. So yeah, that's different. Got it. Okay. Anyway, I feel like she's looking at in the glass, just like fucking face palming right now. Well, <laughs> I, I just gotta say that I do like I I don't play much racing games, but when I was young, I played Gran Turismo two, I believe, on the PS two, and they uh-huh. had uh rally cars in there too not just street cars and right i i really enjoyed that because it was a nice contrast to going really fast it was it's rally is very technical so yeah yeah Yeah, because i play the old dirts and it's like it's very much about like traction control and stuff like that when you go on different material so it's not always about going fast Mm -hmm. yeah Yeah. Yeah. because you can easily wipe out yeah Yeah. i played simpsons hit and run (laughs) <laughs> that's that was, not a that racing game racing uh, stuff. Okay. that was my car game as a child I played, crazy, I played crazy taxi does that count too uh, <laughs> sure, not, arcade, yeah, arcade so racing racers run. that was a lot more car conversation than I thought we were going to have I thought those were going to be like True. dirt 5 that's a car okay, okay. <laughs> I actually had stuff to say holy yeah. crap uh, you know, dirt 5 anyway yeah. moving on from that we get a horror game Freaky in the hell. form of scorn oh yeah. i love it uh, it's, it's very, very, very clearly penis-y. inspired by mm-hmm. hr hr uh, giger. giger yeah i love his art style uh, wait who's yeah. it can you for those people that are deprived of culture uh, people who don't know the yeah. artist yeah that, that did the concept of aliens the alien is movies. this yeah. already on steam in early access i think it might be because i'm pretty sure i've seen people play something yeah i think it's an early access game right and like that's the interesting kind of thing right where it's like some of these games are in early access and they're showing us like cinematic trailers for them yep it's like uh like shows and admittedly microsoft has already come out and like apologized kind of and admitted that they they over promised a little bit as to what was going to be in the presentation um but anyway visually scorn looks really cool yeah in my opinion it says it's uh, coming soon on steam so no it's not available <laughs> it's okay it, it's really beautiful People might have had, like, and alpha. scary at the same time yeah i mean that's giger's yeah. art too it's like that it's like kind of horrifying it's but yet like somewhat beautiful yes yeah, unsettling but beautiful like yeah. i was looking at it and the whole time i'm like i don't want to look away but i can't I yeah don't wanna look exactly at that's that's giger's art it's like i love his art and i uh, love okay. his art style too it's very yeah. okay remind me or i'm gonna remind you to show me more of his art because i yeah, yeah this is really cool it, yeah because like, uh, as soon as i saw it i was like is this that guy from alien that john showed me that one time yeah I want to know more though about this game. Like, I don't know if I'll play it. But... It's a shooter. Right, yeah. It's a horror shooter. Okay. Is it a shooter? Yeah, and it's I a horror yeah. first person okay. shooter. See, like, that's the thing. It's like, yeah, it's like, where's no the gameplay? From that trailer, yeah. was that ever indicated? Yeah. Like, I think I have seen something it about a, it. Like... I think I saw something about it on Twitter, and someone was talking about how the way you interact with the environment completely changes even just the smallest bits of gameplay because it will cause things within the world to attack you that wouldn't normally attack you if you wow. hurt or like interact with certain things that's crazy huh and it's all I'm organic in. stuff right like so if it's gonna yeah. be a shooter you're, you're shooting bones or like blood or yeah blood. like it's mm-hmm. like if you if you oh. attack something that's just like that creeps you out yeah. it wouldn't normally attack you so it causes everything else around you that's gonna start attacking you when it would normally just leave you that creature that uh, was pulling out that little uh, bulb it, that that was starting to trigger my trypophobia, but I ignored it because I was too mesmerized by the art. Nice. Because it had phobia. 
Trypophobe, the, the holes. holes. Oh, the, the porous phobia. I mean, see, that's the thing the about me. It's surface. not as like bad as long as I don't acknowledge it too much. But once I start yeah. thinking about it, that's where I get chills. I I have a phobia of like bare skin or bare like bare organs. skin. Wait, what? No, no bare no. organs. Organs, organs or like ripped off skin. Or... Oh, I don't mean like actually like specifically bare organs. Just 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 bare. specifically oh. bare. <laughs> yeah, it's like I, why I can't handle, handle like... bare skin? <laughs> if I see skin, <laughs> like... I'm off. It's like brown bears or black bears. Okay. Okay. Arctic yes. bears, all bears. Uh, no. That's a Arctic. You mean polar bears? <laughs> polar bears. I mean, they're Arctic bears. Oh my god! I'm just Arctic feeling a fire. Bears. Uh, no, but just like anything that's been skinned alive or mm. anything like that, like flayed, yeah, if you will, flayed, flayed oh, yeah. dismemberment, any of that shit, yeah. just automatically, I shut off. Like I can't handle that. Yeah. So I was watching, I watched the whole trailer because the art style is gorgeous. But I'm like, uh, uh, I can't do this. So I had to force so myself. I went yes. down into the comments to see what people were saying about this, and someone said, "Imagine the way this place smells." And oh god, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, disgusting. Uh, Oh god, and a whole new level. Uh, of, like, I don't want to think about this. Um, what? Anyway, what do you very guys think? What do you guys oh, think the type of gameplay would be akin to Dead Space or uh, like Halo? Halo well, with yeah, uh, I don't know. maybe like the, the, the Dark trailer... Souls of first person horror. Yeah, shooter. yeah. The trailer makes okay. it seem like a very so, slow paced, slow shooter, and deliberate. Which I yeah. I hope it is. Okay. Cause and especially from the description fits. of how like if you accidentally attack something in the environment. It'll make them attack you if it would normally. Makes yeah. it sound like you have to be really deliberate about how you engage targets so that you don't it trigger sounds, other targets. It sounds like yeah. I'm gonna have to watch John play this, and I'm, I'm not. I'm semi and be not excited. Spooky, scary skeletons. I, I feel like the whole time I'm gonna be on the edge of gagging. <laughs> oh. Anyhow, All right. let's move on. Moving on to the next. Next one. Hello. Oh no. I think it's a dogfighting game. I might have to uh, close my app and open it back up here in a second, which yeah, I, a... I will do when I get you guys talking about this next topic. Okay. Yeah. It's a, yeah, it's a dogfighting game. Yeah, it's like oh. a space dogfighting but game. But it doesn't right? show you any of that dogfighting. It doesn't do <laughs> I know. It shows it's just a, a little bit like, of it. Flying in the air. Yeah. But it's like I, a split second. I sat there for a minute and I was just like, like what What's is this? this game about? Are you. Yeah, like, I'm so you, confused. Are you the, the ship whisperer? Or like, do it's, you. It's, Fix ships? I, I yeah, no. like math. It, it felt like Mass Effect, and Good then job, it Xbox. felt like gameplay. Like, well, come on, tell me. <laughs> gameplay, not gameplay. But um, the visuals uh, were really interesting. It kind of looked like it had like, uh, like SCP like um, control vibe. SCP? What's that? Uh, look it up on uh, YouTube or something sometime. It's like secure, contain, protect. Oh, uh, oh, can, oh, oh, that right. The cryptids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. My, my main problem with Ooh. games like this is that you need like a joystick or something to mm -hmm. better control the ship. And if you don't really yeah, have that, right. then you're kind of screwed in playing. Secret yeah. laboratory. Or like you can play it, but it just doesn't have the same like. The same feel. Feet. That's creepy, dude. I remember this game. I watched uh, someone play it. Oh, God. Anyhow. What? The or game? no, when you said SCP, I looked it up. It's that little like doll that sits in a containment room. Well, there's a, like a bunch of SCPs. Yeah. Okay. It's like it's like yeah. a like a shared universe fan. Oh. Yeah, thing. Okay. Like I was just like, this universe. is really weird to compare it to this, but I guess Joey knows what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that little creepy ass doll that comes in and breaks your neck. Chucky. Yeah, it's part of the yeah. part of the thing. No, more more along the lines of like there. Space. Eld eldritch ethereal cosmic entity yeah, or something everything. Right? all about that cthulhu shit yeah yes. cthulhu like space shit. cthulhu <laughs> right hey i got um, i got the hp lovecraft book mm -hmm. oh, okay. so yeah it looks kind of interesting uh depends on how like that game type of stuff goes and and it depends on how the gameplay is like how engaging that type yeah. of dog fighting gameplay is because on the surface it looks kind of simple yeah but but the CG trailer looks nice. See. Looks pretty. Yeah. Moving on. Madden. Sports. Football. Some Sports. Of that, some of that Big red eyes. Oh, cool. Okay, moving on. Uh, moving on. The next game? <laughs> yeah. Basically, all you need to know about this, Madden 21, it still exists, even though Ooh. football doesn't exist. Yeah. 
Um, and they showed eight seconds of in-game footage, so right. Uh, the rest of it was old. Just, yeah, they went if through. I was sitting there like, why are they showing Madden like '89 right? or something? I was right. like, why? And then, like that's and then like half of it's an odd choice. Yeah. yeah. It's like nostalgia. Remember when you used to play this game a lot? Come back. And then the last then... three clips are the previous year's games, but they all look exactly <laughs> the same. And this year's looks slightly better. Yeah. Hey, but right, the, right. the sweat, the sweat, the sweat, exactly. Yeah, the sweat. Those beats. Yeah. Uh, their like main talking point here was that if you buy it on Xbox, uh, Xbox One, you get it on Xbox Series X as well. That's, um, okay, okay. Later, yeah, it would come out and say that there's a bunch of stipulations involved with that, like you have to buy the game before a certain date and stuff like that. Right, right. So, uh, I don't know all the intricacies of that, but you know, just jumping the gun. Well, I think it's I think it's less of that and more of like. EA just being very vague in their announcement right. and then like confirming additional details later to a source that less people are going to see. Yeah. I love uh, John's note here, by the way, just so the audience is sportsman uh, talking, then footage. Do we know who the sportsman is? No, I'm it's a I don't care. It's a, it's a it's, athlete. It's a football oh, yeah, yeah. player. Patrick yeah. Mahone. Mahone. Okay. I'm like, oh, of the sportsman. Kansas City who? Chiefs. Sportsman. They recently won the Super Bowl. Oh, is that why he's important? He's a okay. very good quarterback. Okay. I was like, thanks Wait, for introducing do you, do you a watch, game. But do you, you watch didn't, you didn't the read football? That whole thing. It's, it's sportsman talking, then footage of past yeah, games. Yeah, past games. Followed by eight Followed seconds, by eight seconds of in-game footage. Yeah, that was my day. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That, like, I make a note. That's about true. right. <laughs> it's 100% true. And I was like, uh... Can I see more of the actual game? I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm not like, gonna get it. Obviously, I don't give a crap. Right, about or like, Madden, but... what's new about the yeah. new Madden? It's like, why right? should we like, be excited? The roster. That's it. Like, it's <laughs> it's so sad. Exactly. Like, it's sad that it's gotten to a point where, and maybe uh, I don't know if we talked about this on a podcast, but uh, 2K recently secured rights to make some football titles. Yeah, we did. Um, uh, wow. Huh. Yeah, spe- That's interesting. But like specifically not simulation titles, so they're not really stepping on EA's toes, but it kind of feels like maybe the NFL is like feeling out the water to see if maybe they want to go a different direction because yeah, I believe smart. the Madden contract is uh ending pretty soon. Yeah, uh, they need a competition. Long is their Madden and Madden it, contract. I feel like it's, it's been like it was like 15 years or something like that. Wow, 15 wow. years. Wow, yeah. that's crazy. And uh, mm-hmm. But in the, in the past few years, they've done a few different things here and there. Like they had the, uh, the single-player, uh, I can't remember what it was called, but um, it was basically like a kind of like superstar mode, similar to the types of uh, single-player story modes that they would do in the 2K oh, basketball right. games. Mm-hmm. Um, they did that one year and then just didn't do it the next year. Um, they have a tendency to do that where they'll like add a feature and then just like not have like, it in the next man. year's game. Like they like test things out kind of, and then drop them from man. titles. Um, so like the Madden games nowadays are pretty like feature bare compared to a lot of the games that came out back in the day, especially back in the day when, uh, 2K was also making football games. So there was kind of competition well, between there the was two. All the street games too that were getting attention. Right, exactly. I miss those. Um, I would so go out and buy a sports game if I had those. Still, it's gotten to the point where EA can just kind of rest on their laurels and put out the same Madden over and over again with mm-hmm. the roster update, and people have no choice but to buy it because they want that roster update. I don't get why people. So, I don't get it. well, the, well, the thing, the only thing, the saving grace about this game is that it's a party game. Um, that people who like football will play. Yeah, right, that's, that's the thing. It's like it's kind of a a, a game geared to a very very specific audience, and it's, that audience for the past, you know, forever has been relatively satisfied with it. So yeah, it's like getting you know. the next Mario Party game every every time it comes out, or or yeah, but do what Rooster Teeth does Mario and stuff. let it just predict the Super Bowl. Oh yeah, yeah. exactly. So true. Okay, well, anyway, Madden's Madden. It's football. Sports it's happening. Moving we on. Way uh, we too got much a trailer for that. Vampire <laughs> The Masquerade Bloodlines 2. Oh, that gave me chills. Uh, that trailer. It's a cool yeah, cinematic, cinematic trailer. trailer for it's the most very part. Uh, clearly in engine because it yeah. didn't look that great, but it, yeah. you know, the visuals are neat. It still gets um, you, though. Like, it, it, ha- it hits home. Like, I was just. The animations the are faces. super clean and really yeah. good. Yeah. The yeah, opening yeah. reminded me of We Happy People or whatever we call that game. We Happy People. 
Oh. We happy. Yeah, and that's just like the yeah. smile. To things. an extent, yeah. no. Yeah. The thing that it reminded me more of was Joker, uh, oh. the Joker face off, uh, like <sighs> comic book. So that I got that vibe. Plus the way that he was acting throughout the whole time, it was very uh, like Batman Joker ish. Happy. Yeah, but I think I, I'm pretty sure that's probably just like a NPC, or maybe not even. That might have just been some. And like somebody that they rendered for that trailer or something, Could have been. but oh, wow. they they it did look like this one actually had some gameplay. Again, yeah, no uh, no HUD, no HUD mm-hmm. or anything, but there was some like first person walking around the streets mm-hmm. and some first person jumping, jumping across the rooftops. Yeah, yeah so yeah. Um, and and it looked like there was some dialogue, some like you know dialogue with NPCs. If you aren't on. Unaware Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines is a like third person RPG similar to something like uh, Fallout or the Elder Scrolls series. Oh. Um, and uh, the original, ago. yeah, the original is a cult classic. It's based on a um, tabletop series franchise, um, oh. like tabletop RPG game. But um, yeah, graphically, like I think texture wise and stuff like that, it didn't really look that great. Some of the characters kind of uh, looked a little gummy. It was a little yeah. Um, but animation wise, it looked really clean. And um, of course, with like a game that that's that's as large as that, you're right. not always going to be able to make it as tight as you want, right? Like, yeah. Look mm-hmm. at like even Bethesda's games with all the money in the world, and they still come out looking like they do. You know, <laughs> yeah. so mm-hmm. it's just big. And Don't get me started. <laughs> So that's probably going to be cool. Uh, yeah, exciting for that to come out. Uh, that's coming out pretty soon, I believe. Oh, wow. um, but I don't know the exact date for that. Uh, next, we got Call of the Sea, oh. which uh, looks like a first-person like mystery sim. game. Yeah. Yeah. It, shows so, it showed so much gameplay, but I still don't know what it's about. It's a walking yeah, swimming right. simulator. It's a walking with, with puzzles. Oh, it's probably gonna be I, like I, I it's probably gonna be like Firewatch. Uh, Firewatch? Is that Firewatch, Firewatch? Yeah, yeah like, Firewatch had uh, no puzzles though. But yeah, well, right. this it should be, eat it, eat it, or whatever. This should be in VR then. Oh yeah, cool. yeah. Maybe. Too bad Xbox won't support but, VR. Oh my oh, yeah. god. Oh yeah. Xbox really doing VR. Not right. the ball. Anyway, it looks pretty. Um, it's kind of got like cartoony graphics, but yeah, um, I like you know, pretty. nice like aesthetically pleasing I kind thought, of cartoony graphics. It takes place on island. Our game, right? Because it opens with like talking about Harry, yeah, the British uh, Harry, yeah, right? <laughs> Harry, why yeah. have you led me here? Anyway, uh, but yeah, other other than what they showed there, I don't really know much about it. So wait, Looks what? Neat. Is she a looks... mer person or something? Because at the end of the trailer, oh. you... so it it looks like there might again like looks like characters? there might be some like eldritch stuff going on. Yeah, where like there's some kind of like sea creature or like sea entity or something that is like drawing people to the island maybe yeah. and turning them into like sea people. Uh, I don't know. That. Yeah. Maybe that's what's going on. If it wasn't a game but about water, that know. could be cool. <laughs> Wait, right, I know you hate water. Water, but, water. Which, which is weird because you play raft. Yeah, but, but I don't have to go in the water though. Not very often. You don't have to go in the water there. What? But what if you're a sea creature? Then you're part of fear. I mean, if I can beat up a shark or eat it, then maybe I'll think about <laughs> it. But like, you need to get John for the stream. You need to get man eater and have him. Play. Oh no! Oh, oh, no. no, no, no. Oh, no, aren't you the no, shark? No, no. Yeah, you are the shark. shark. Yeah. yeah, you are the shark. Oh, you are the shark. You are the yeah. shark. Oh, that would freak Murder me out. So I, I mean, what I fear. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way that you know. That's yeah, why Batman even... became Batman because he feared Therapy. bats. It's therapeutic. Yeah, but I'm not gonna become just... Shark Man. Yes, you, you will. Could. <laughs> I will eat all your seals. <laughs> or or or. Yeah, pretty good. All right, moving on. <laughs> what? Wait, why did we give this so, less time than Madden? Because we have because oh true. we have a lot of stuff to talk because about. Because the let's, thing wait, let's continue talking about this because we Madden's oh. Okay, Garrick, what would you like to say about Call of Duty? <laughs> Too late. Never mind. A set. A set. Well, then we're moving on. The set. Um, cyberpunk. Uh, top down it, shooter. It, top down shooter. It looks like. Wow. I was ARP. ARP. I, I, um, 
I, I, uh, I, I don't know, really. It's very, they're definitely shooting. Yeah. They got guns and they're shooting guns. So and it sad. looks like it's a twin stick shooter. At yeah. first, oh. I thought it was going to be a shooter um, RPG. I, and then it just topped yeah. out. I was like, nope. Uh, but no, I mean, it has yeah, RPG actually, elements. It's possible, yeah. So it, it says it has RPG. Has, does it have like loot drops or are you like leveling uh, up? Or? No, these, but the, the developer, developers say it's a solo and co op action RPG cyberpunk world. Uh, oh, okay, wow. so that's kind of cool. See, this Isometric. is what I'm talking about. It's like these trailers okay. needed to show something. stuff. Right. Give right? something. Like, it's cool. It's cool to have like a little bit of setup for the world, mm-hmm. right? But it's like. Have like twenty five percent of it be set up for the world, and then the other seventy five percent be actual gameplay, exactly. and like show how the gameplay systems interact, yeah. right? And if you're like, gonna call your presentation, you first look you, Xbox Series X gameplay, gameplay. You oh show my some gameplay, god, right? there's some gameplay. But it's like it's like what are you leveling up? Are you finding loot? Yeah. Are there character classes? Like what's the mm-hmm. deal? What's you the know what I mean? Oh, they're, just shooting. Shooting. they're shooting. They're they're, they're shooting. moving and, and interacting. And then they're hitting but the ground like, really hard. There's no HUD. There's no like anything. Like, there's no <laughs> HUD. There's like they don't show anything other than action snippets of gameplay. So it's like you like on the surface, it looks like it's just a top down twin yeah. stick shooter. Yeah, it's not doing right. it justice. Like the exactly. more you it's admit, like these, the less interested I am. Mm-hmm. These games are not being done justice because you don't know what the games are mm-hmm. a lot of the time, right? Like Scorn, again, good example. You said that it's yeah. a what like it? horror shooter. There's yeah. no indication of that from the yeah. trailer. You have no idea, I, it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I thought you were just making monster babies. And a horror yeah. shooter is <laughs> way more <laughs> interesting to me than like a wa- horror walking simulator, yeah. right? So like, well, I would take both. You know, but yes. Anyway. Anyway, that information has me more excited for the ascent. Mm-hmm. We'll have to That's see more about it later. Um, I like. I've always liked kind of like top down, you know, ARPGs. Obviously, I like Diablo and stuff like that. But um, even ones that are on like console that play with like a stick. Um, big fan of like two two human, even though you know that Aww, game's pretty widely re- widely Aww. regarded to be pretty garbage. But I still like it. And I had like a Kingdom Under Fire game on the 360 that was like a top-down a- ARPG that was pretty fun. Anyway, we'll have to see where the ascent goes. Uh, Moving on, I'll we, try got, it. we all oh. get it. That's the only way my contingency works. Right. For it. Yeah. All right. We got the medium. Speaking of no idea is, what this is, <laughs> yeah, that was out there. <laughs> it appears to be a a, it's like a psychological third-person psychological horror. Um, at first, I thought it was a Silent Hill game yeah. because yeah. it's done by the compose. The music's done by the composer of the Silent Hill games, so um, spiritual successor to the Silent Hill franchise. What really, that's really cool. What really messed with me is they do the whole scene in the church, and that portion ends, and then they have this random dude pop up on the screen talking about the game, and then they cut to the gameplay, and I, was, I thought right. they had moved on to the yeah. next game, and I was like, oh wait, no, this is still a creepy game. This must be from the... Yeah, this is this is the only game that actually kind of showed gameplay. Right. I was like, well, one of the this? only games that kind of showed gameplay. Um, yeah, and it, it's very like striking visually. Wait, there was um, gameplay? It looks... Yeah, right after a, little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Oh. There was some walking. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. some walking. But Most of the gameplay is walking. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> it, you're going to be walking through environments. That's what the game is. Um, and it did look like there was an in-game scene where like he, the character walked up and like a cutscene kind of transition thing happened. It's a very um, it looks like game, would you say? Yeah, it, it looks like... Uh, I'm playing Amnesia, so I can't really speak uh, to that. Barrels. Barrels. It's interesting because it looks like it's going to be taking place in like two different dimensions, kind of. Yeah, spooky dimension. Oh. And dimension. like the characters being like pulled and like ripped back and forth between the two. Oh, um, so, so yeah, strange. really striking visually. Um, yeah. It's got a iconic composer on it, so um, it's probably I'm I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm trying to think. It's done by the um, Layers of Fear team, I think. Interesting. Who is like oh. progressively? They've been like making more and more titles, and hmm. I don't remember all of them, but somebody laid them out. 
where uh, somebody can pull up their like um, their like Wikipedia or something. But um, they've been like progressively like kind of making more and more serious titles, like bigger budget titles. So like this looks like their like first like real triple a kind of or at least like double a attempt um layers that's good because the layers of fear was a good introduction for them like they did a really good job with them. Mm-hmm. oh the blair they did the blair witch too oh right they did oh. blair witch okay right that's cool. so, oh, wow. yeah so like they've been kind of like progressively moving up in scale yeah. of like okay like seriousness of property yeah i'm definitely right. now they got their own type of thing they got the composer from Silent Hill. Nice. Um, it looks like it's going to be pretty interesting. Awesome. Good for them. Nice. Yeah. I do, like, I do like the psychological. Oh, you're here, Yeah. Yeah, right. Like, psychological horror games aren't really done as. Mm-hmm. Like, they're still done a little bit. Like, we got, like, um, Hellblade pretty recently. Um, and it's done a little bit in the, like, you know, uh, Steam kind of indie space a lot. But. Um, yeah like big triple a development studios haven't really tackled it and this isn't necessarily a triple a development studio but um it looks like this at least is like attempting to be that type of like triple a experience what was that um, uh canceled uh game that was it silent hill with what's that was game? silent hills okay yeah yeah with i remember that, watching Maridos, gameplay yeah. Of that that was so tricky yeah. yeah of the demo good stuff okay moving on we got some Anime, anime stuff. stuff. <laughs> we got some new Bandai. <laughs> I'm really confused about the enemies. That's I, that's uh, the only thing I like about it. <laughs> Sounds about right. Like, do I kill it or do I water the flowers? What's the name of <laughs> it? Yeah. yeah. Scarlet, uh, Scarlet Nexus. Nexus. Yeah. Um, yeah. It takes place in. It looks like again, kind of like a cyberpunky Japan, like Neo Japan. Yeah. Um, it, it like very similar like, to like astral chain vibes, I suppose. Or even uh, Bayonetta um, because of the creatures. Oh. Well, yeah. So the creatures are very like weird. Yeah. They're all like floral. Yeah. There's a bouquet enemy with legs, yeah. sexy legs. There's a there's a there's like uh, an alligator flower. Yeah. Wow. There, there's just a valve with a tree growing out of it. You know. It's clearly <laughs> and. <laughs> You looks, apparently uh, play yeah. as a uh, psychokinesis soldier. Or I don't know how that helps. Or something. Right? <laughs> like, you what, get a smash thing. Is, how does, what does the psychokinesis have to do with, like, the specific threat? Yeah. It, you, it you can tear it like, apart, you know, follicle by follicle. What? I, I would have just. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I like psychokinesis as an idea for, like, powers, because I feel like it's relatively yeah. underused in most things. I but think... it's just like. But it's like they can't be hurt until you came around. Right. Well, it's like, what? right. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Why not just that. use Weed Killer? Like, what the hell? <laughs> or, or Some fire. Like, the game would be <laughs> over. What if it sounds like every pieces. anime that exists, though? Well, yeah. One card right. Yeah. Have, what do we do? No one has invented the solution yet. <laughs> one card that I okay. have is the, uh, the character felt a little out of place with the rest of the art style. I don't know mm-hmm. why. I agree. Because uh, it, like, it just popped up. And I was like, okay, I'm expecting somewhat of an anime e type thing, and then all of a sudden it's like full on giant eyes shown in character. Yeah, and I'm like, it's <laughs> you're right. I'm thinking of like yeah, a new like like character, like <laughs> no, I big agree. and burly, but that yeah, it's, it's so like weird. the world. The world gives you like like Ghost in the Shell vibes, but then you get hit with like a One Piece character. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah, huh? what happened here? No, no, the, yeah. Based on the trailer, it looks like they're just going for like anime. Like anime show, yeah, generic uh, anime style. trope. Yeah. Game. But he's yeah. like I said, I, I, I feel like it's. I get a lot of like uh, astral chain vibes. Yeah, I get because look they, how they needed of, they needed a ruby quota. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say the enemies actually kind of remind me of the Grim from Ruby, in a lot yeah, of ways. He's always outlined like he has a rim light all the time. And then everything else looks a little more realistic than him. Yeah. So I, mean, I do kind of like yeah, that mix style, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's weird. different. It's different. Uh, it's I, weird. I know. I'm but... on board with it just because it's Bondi. I've already told also, Bondi. one of the only games that showed some gameplay, kind of. Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, true. So you got to appreciate it that. It actually did show some. Well. Yeah, it did show some like actual third person 
action game combat going on. So, um, yeah, a lot of people have been saying, like, uh, God Eater, because I guess that's another, like, Bandai Namco. I think it is, anyway. Um, uh, possibly. But, um, yeah. I'm just anyway, wondering, like, me. in the development of this game, they're like, what should we, go- guys, what should we try next? And the guy in the back, what if we try killer bouquets yeah. <laughs> it's the same guy that worked yeah. on the uh, oh, band yeah. i think he might have been a little high too the guy that yeah. suggested it, but i, I feel like he's locked in the back room Dude, just drawing i gotta, yeah. I gotta, Flower think. I gotta think. you know that meme yeah. you know that meme it's the one where they throw out the guy out the window and at like, the conference <laughs> they didn't do that to him yeah, yeah they're just like There's... uh Let, we'll listen to you this time <laughs> Okay, moving on. Moving on. We have second ba, extinction. Ba, 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 uh, you mean uh, the Indoraptor Simulator Exterminator? Right. It's basically ba, 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 like uh, it looks like it's basically Left for Dead, but with uh, dinosaurs. Yeah, specifically Indoraptors. I, I like dinosaurs. Got to kill them. Got to kill dinosaurs. Got to shoot them So all. basically, everywhere in the world got the Indoraptor, and it took over. Mm-hmm. I do like the, 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 the what's it called, the body dismemberment. looks really cool. I mean, but the trailer, I can't, I can't yeah. tell if it's, you know, pre-rendered or anything, but if it's like no, that game. No, I think it showed some, I think this game also was one of the ones that kind of showed a little bit of game, yeah, like, okay. of like first person shooting this, some of the dinos. Right. I mean, if and this is. Yeah, a lot of like full body dismemberment. Yeah. If this is um, a like, actual gameplay, it's, it's look, looks really good. Mm-hmm. Um, the I, environments look kind of boring. Or co-op. Yeah. I believe it is co-op. Co-op. So it's like more horror. It's mode probably Left or 4 Dead. What? Yeah, it's probably yeah, be more like, like Left 4 Dead. Dead. I'd be down. Yeah, yeah. that looks. Yeah, I'm down. It it just sucks that it's gonna be three people max. Yeah, that's oh, dumb. awkward. Yeah. What's with the three people limit all the time now? I Apex. 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 Oh. Apex. First, first it was Destiny, and then it was Apex, and then yeah. boom, just. Yeah, no, it for everybody. And, and no one likes it. And then they have to release a four squad later, anyhow. So it's yep. stupid. Yeah. Just add, just add more mobs, or make the mobs a little more difficult. Like scale it with the players. Like what yeah. the hell? Uh, yeah, lazy. Like, uh, like typically you have four people play. That's always how it's been since the beginning of gameplay time. Since the beginning of time. Yeah. Yes. Split screen days. It's two players, yeah. and then it was four players. Like, yeah. This like, is, uh, what if, a multiple of two? What if back in no the day... No one has nine the friends. Game... They only have eight friends, okay? Exactly. What if back in the day, Mario Kart only allowed three players? Oh, like, oh, my God. oh I'm sorry, yeah. Jimmy. You can't play with us today. <laughs> Go home. I didn't invite you. Oh, so sad, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, looks cool. Dinosaurs. I like dinosaurs. Oh, yeah, took my Xbox yeah shooting dinosaurs. That looks fun. Uh, moving on. Yakuza. 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 Uh, Yakuza's this getting is... Yakuza's. Bless yeah. you. Oh, this wife. is the uh, Yakuza that I think it's like a kind of spinoff of Seven, I believe. Seven, nothing but it is. There's it seven Yakuza. Follows... Holy shit! Oh, yeah, there's, there's a lot. lot of yeah. Um, wow. And this one is a turn-based RPG. Oh wait, what? But, yeah. Oh wow. Is that, is that the case for all the Yakuza games, or no? No, no, no. the other Yakuza. And it's kind of the. It's kind of like. The character that you play as in Like a Dragon is like really into JRPGs. Oh, it's just so kind of it's like the entire his entire world is from the perspective of a JRPG. That's kind of cute. So like his uh, life is turn based. I, I love. <laughs> I've never played a Yakuza game, but I've watched them, and I love watching them. They're just so funny. It's so yeah. wacky. They're so wacky and fun. And there's tons of great stuff shown in the trailer, like a giant like crawfish, and a satellite orbital strike. <laughs> I love how he pulls out the bat like it's freaking Excalibur, <laughs> right? I know. That's funny. Nice. So, My blade. so how is this gonna be turn based? Like, is it like XCOM or something? Like, but just so it's really? actually out of, it's out in Japan already, so you can go look it up. Oh wow. Um, okay. It's like, but it's like Pokemon. It's, it's like. Uh, it's like you in, initiate combat and then you can like move and attack kind of similar to XCOM, oh. but you know, like oh, a tactical oh. RPG kind of. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. That's cool. So yeah, looks really good. Yakuza games are always fun. Um, and yeah, it's fun, different direction for the gameplay. So maybe uh, I might get people into the series that 
you know, because the other ones are kind of just like brawlers. Mm-hmm. Um, so like, you know, we'll see if this different approach to gameplay gets more people on board with the franchise or different people on board with the franchise, I should say. Okay, moving on to the final thing shown in the showcase. So much gameplay. So much gameplay. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I'm going to get it anyways. Yep, agreed. Yeah. John, I, yeah. I'm not going to listen to you with this game. Because uh, uh, I know it's going to be good. Ubisoft, disappointing again. So it's there wasn't sure. really any gameplay actually shown. They showed Even on the like trailer, in, it's called. In engine. It was oh, like in engine footage. Oh, this like, was originally. You can tell by like, it was originally what? called game ba- gameplay trailer when it first released yeah. the trailer. Yeah. They changed oh, the name, okay. I guess. And they changed oh. the name. Mm-hmm. Smart, because it's not a gameplay trailer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but so it's it's clearly like in game footage. You can tell by like the animations and stuff that they're like not pre rendered. Mm-hmm. But it's not from the perspective that you play in Assassin's Creed, right? It's not yeah. a you're not following the character from the, behind the back. Right? It's back. like and this kind of goes for a whole across the board for these things, right? When you think of a gameplay trailer, I feel like you think of what you see at like E3 typically, where it's actually showing Yeah, the guy's on like, stage playing the game. Yeah, there's a guy on stage playing yeah. the game, right? And like this was more of a like trailer announcement showcase. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um, so later in the year we'll get more information. More right. Awesome. We have allegedly. I think they said uh, pretty soon we're going to see actual yeah. gameplay footage. They should just soon just like the the what did you say it was, John? Basically, just mm-hmm. like a teaser. Yeah, it should have been like. A oh teaser. yeah, this is this is a like yeah teaser trailer for a game. <laughs> Yeah. Xbox Series X third party showcase. Right. Yeah. That's it. Right. If they had named it that, then this wouldn't have mm-hmm. been like a problem. Game for a lot play. Of play. <laughs> uh, game. But anyways, I, I, I'm still gonna buy it because I trust Ubisoft and I know they're gonna make the game what it should be in uh, when it's released and then they'll improve it after three years. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. So have you played Odyssey then? I have. I oh, played. Have. I didn't know that. Odyssey. Yeah, I have it. I oh. didn't finish it because it's. Uh, I, it's I, so long. It is. That's what she said. I feel like um, it's artificially long. They, they, yeah, it, it is. It's, it's very. It's very busy work. Like, mm-hmm. I, that's the downside with all these open, um, open worlds these days is that they think that it needs to be a ton of content as opposed to quality content. I feel like that's more of a Ubisoft open, open so, world game yeah. problem. Let me... I When I finished Odyssey, I felt just as exhausted as the main character did by the end of the game. <laughs> and I never played the DLCs because yeah. there's just oh God, there's DLCs. so much. Oh God. Yeah, yeah. there's like two there's or three. Atlantis and stuff like that. And they're yeah. all episodic too. Oh so you had to wait for them to actually release... The entire content to experience the entire story for I, the DLCs. I have to say, I do like the direction they went with uh, the gameplay, where it's more the fighting style is more uh, loose and fluid as opposed to pressing Y just to stab someone in the previous games and mm-hmm. always winning, no matter how big the person is. So I actually yeah, it's I a like little it, more of a challenge. It takes a little bit more inspiration from like The Witcher. Than yeah, it does from itself, right? I was gonna say from like skill. the Arkham games, but like the Arkham kind of Arkham games kind of modeled yeah. their combat after Assassin's Creed. That being said, I do miss having actual stealth in the game though, because Odyssey lacked a lot of stealth, and I would have liked to have more options for stealth in there. I agree. Yeah, they're because of the the move they made were where it's more fighting oriented it well they, it's a little it's, it's a little bit a more seat. it's a little bit more rpg yeah. like in terms of like the way that equipment works and armor and stuff like that right and, and it's like the same problem that division had right where like everybody was like why can't i stealth kill in the division like where's stealth in the division and they basically came out and were like well it doesn't make sense for you to be able to just walk up and one shot dudes when like if your gear isn't good or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, I agree like with it's that. A, it's a RPG kind of balancing thing, but, yeah, but I feel like fun. it's 
That's the thing yeah. is I feel like it's inappropriate for yeah, Assassin's, Assassin's, Creed. Assassin's Creed. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's like you just make a whole really new assassinate someone. Right. It's it's like just make a whole new RPG game. Like at that point. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't finish Origins, but I know you got the hidden blade in that game. And this one, we don't have that because it takes place before Origins. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna ask you this because I'm I'm playing it right now. I'm just really early. I was like, do you ever get the? No, so I guess you, you don't have get the spear, okay. and that's, that's your like kind of that's your hidden blade. I and as really you annoying. go around, as you go around killing, oh, I don't want to spoil anything. But as okay. you go around killing things, you get uh -huh. ways to upgrade the spear. But like, okay. it doesn't ever feel so you're never... as significant as the hidden blade did. So yeah. you're never, yeah. so you're never part of the creed, though. That's the creed because the creed doesn't, exist, doesn't yeah. exist. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I started. So the why is it DLC, a Assassin's Creed game? So the first <laughs> DLC kind of deals with that but i never finished it so i don't really know the background with that yeah, yeah. it's like the or it's like the run-up to it it's the origin story like the cia wasn't the cia up until like world war ii so they should have just called it odyssey roman times or something like that <laughs> and just made yeah. a, a, a spin-off of by a assassin's yeah. creed yeah yeah like, yeah it's like odyssey yeah. uh, an assassin's creed a tale. tale or something yeah exactly it shouldn't yeah. have been a mainstay uh assassin's creed title it shouldn't have yeah i feel like it could have been avoided. Story. i feel like yeah, it could have exactly. been avoided if ubisoft kept using numerics for specific titles right so like mm -hmm. Yeah. After four, they like stopped using numbers, right? Yeah, Unity right. came out, and then from there on out, it was just Assassin's Creed subtitle. Yeah, they right? sh should have taken a page well, out. And they of started that. doing that even before three, with True. Brotherhood uh, and Revelation. Yeah. But yeah. the thing is, yeah. like, even in the spinoff games, right? Yeah. So like, if Assassin's and they could still use the subtitles, right? So it could be like Assassin, and they do, right? Assassin's Creed Four, Black Flag. Yeah. Right. But yeah. I think the thing is, why didn't they, they keep that going? Assassin's Creed Five Unity, Assassin's Creed they, Six, whatever. They wanted, it was, I, don't I think they didn't want to be boxed in because they had a desire to jump around after a certain point in time, and right. I think it would have been confusing to go back in time and name it Six, even though it's a prequel. Plus, they um, were done with Desmond's story, and those yeah. all had to do with Desmond. Yeah. True, like, but I mean, I they mean, were done with Desmond's story in Four, and they still yeah. called that one Four. It does. Yeah. It does so, like I do agree with you, Joey. It does make it easier for us. Um, like if they just take a page out of Battlefield and just go that way. It oh, yeah, they should have called this Assassin's Creed One. A page out yeah. of Battlefield. <laughs> yeah. Assassin's Creed. Well, I just mean like I have to put like, that in Assassin's there. Assassin's Creed Origins Spell could have been one. called Assassin's Creed one. like Seven Origins uh, or whatever, zero. right? Yeah. And then the beginning Assassin's Creed Odyssey could have just been called Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And it would tell you that like, this isn't a mainline Assassin's Creed game. Yeah. It, it might not play like the mainline Assassin's Creed games. Like Brendan was saying, Odyssey an Assassin's Creed story. Well, cause um, origins. I like that. Or that's weird and wordy. How is that weird? <laughs> uh, How is that weird? Star Wars Creed. did it and they were fine. <laughs> Remind me again where what so uh, people only where know the that timeline movie as Rogue One, and most people call it Star Wars Rogue One. Exactly, but then that would be the same thing for Odyssey. They'd be like, "Oh, you're gonna play Odyssey, Odyssey today." All right, what's your question, but, Garrett? Um, where does Origin take place? Origins. Uh, place? it takes place after this one. Oh after wait, so but it was Odyssey is the Origin. Yeah. I'm confused. Yeah, Odyssey takes place before Origins. Yeah. But Origins is timeline wise, yeah. Or origin like that origin something. But because... the direction, see that's the thing, the direction they went with uh, Origins and Odyssey, it's more fleshed out in Odyssey, but it is like we mentioned before, it is straying away from what the essence of it should be of what Assassin's Creed like is. Assassin's Creed. So like um, this one I think takes place after Origins. But I'm not entirely sure because oh, yeah. I don't know. Va Valhalla don't know. takes place well after Origins. Yeah. So he should Cause have. I, yeah, because I don't yeah. know. Like, oh, he, cultural... he, has, he, yeah, he, he has the hidden blade. The trailer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Did, yeah, you, watch, did you watch the, the trailer? actual PJ? cinematic trailer? I guess he uses not. it in, in that. PJ. Well, no, and you got it. It, it, it very. Got it. Uh, well, I was going to say, okay. I haven't played any of the games, so I need to have Garrick or Brandon. Uh, high, or like fill me in on this but okay. is like the templar assassin 
stuff really like the highlight focus it's of the different. story? Always. It's completely different. Because like, it felt from the trailer. It felt it, like from the trailer that they were hinting at kind of like a return to form with that stuff. I hope so. There's always there there will always be that essence of um of a like a like a gang kind of thing brewing or it's one uh this like this group against this group yeah um, like in Odyssey but, I forgot what it's called there was a cult that was playing both the assassin or the Athens and um the Athenians and the Spartans against each other to keep the war it. going and okay. in uh, origins there's a cult in there and i'm hoping we get back to the templars because assa- yeah. having actual assassins like an actual group of assassins and that's an actual rooted. templar group would just feel more natural to what we've had before yeah that's what i'm feeling i'm missing from an odyssey even the first few hours i'm like i kind of want to go back to that templar versus assassins yeah. stuff and I, like i, I... I believe I thought, uh, Valhalla yeah, I will be more um, uh, along the line timeline of around where the original series of Assassin's mm-hmm. Creed will be. It takes based place in the history. 19th century. Okay. Yeah. So maybe a little later then. Just slightly. Is that... Because isn't that like the 1500s or something? Maybe 17, seven... I thought. The original trilogy? No, not, or... no, 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 no. The 9th century. It oh, takes place century. in like 860. Okay. I was going to say, like, like, there were Vikings. Uh, in the Assassin's Creed Valhalla <laughs> takes place in 873 AD. Okay. Altair's yeah, yeah. story that's takes place right. in 1191 AD. Okay, so, okay, so that's close. Okay. A, couple, a couple centuries off, but it's really close. So this is the predecessor to Altair. Assassin's Creed, yeah. Assassin's Creed. Weird. Okay. Oh, so going back to PJ not seeing the Hidden Blade, it's because it was hidden. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I, no. I, I actually watched yeah. the whole trailer. I think I was watching okay. a different trailer altogether. But... They kind of, they kind of like highlighted it. They put a, they yeah, the, almost, the they gem. almost put a spotlight on it for you. Yeah. PJ. No, I saw it afterwards. So, I never watched that trailer, so that was the problem. Mm. I don't know. I always thought that the most interesting stuff about Assassin's Creed was the like way in the past stuff like the origins yeah. of like the assassins and like the templars and like the video that you unlocked in assassin's creed 2 with adam and eve and stuff oh yeah, yeah and like cool. i feel like mm-hmm. they just continued to get as far away from that stuff as they possibly could I with their like further titles origins? uh no i didn't i wasn't into it but i yeah i wasn't I, either i played more odyssey like i'm it, well, quote unquote, more. I'm still like 25, percent and that's like several hours in. <laughs> but I enjoyed Odyssey more. But it's I was just burnt out from playing like Syndicate like recently when I started playing. Oh Odyssey. yeah, I skipped Syndicate and Unity. It was, fun. It was all right. Um, but yeah, uh, I speaking I, of numbers. Speaking of numbers, yeah, Unity numbers like one and two. <laughs> like like skating. one and two. Yeah, let's just move on because we've been talking about Assassin's Creed for a long time. So So just Xbox stuff. Interesting. Yeah, that's done with the Xbox stuff. Uh, Not really gameplay, but some of it was kind of maybe gameplay a little bit. Yeah. Um, Looking forward to their event in July. That's first party stuff. We'll see more then. Activision today announced Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 remastered. Wow. Um, Can we appreciate how old he is and (laughs) <laughs> but how athletic so he still old. is. He I still know, right? schools other so skater boys. Just of it, remake of the first and the second game all together in one package. Uh, it has graphics. all the classic tracks. It looks really good. All the classic skaters. It looks awesome. Done in 4K. It looks really, really pretty. Um, it, my, me and my cousin were talking about it. It does look like... Because we were, we were discussing how it was interesting that they would choose to remake 1 and 2... Because uh, gameplay wise, one and two are lacking a lot of features. In terms oh, yeah. Of, like, but um, he mentioned that, and I didn't see this, but now that I went back and watched and it's there, like, there's a revert, revert um, and a revert out of, um, like, a, out of a quarter pipe. So, like, that's there. That's something that didn't get introduced until three, I think. Oh, um, I didn't see a spine transfer, which is something that got introduced in four, but. Um, other than that, you know, all the classic like stages that you're um, familiar with, up into 4K. 
with fancy textures and stuff like that. What um, if what if Tony Hawk uh for the remaster he just did mocap for everything? <laughs> <laughs> he, he could do it better than the programmers. Yeah, probably. I uh, know, right? That'd be cool. I mean, they. I'm pretty oh, sure they animators. did used to mocap right, in the older right. games back in the day. Anyway, like like the you know. Yeah, that's crazy. Like I think Thugs mocapped. I remember playing this on oh, wow. the the PlayStation at a friend's house, and then I got the Game Boy Advance version of the game, and there's oh, wow. just there's so much to these games and it's crazy because it's it's considered a sports game but i feel like every serious gamer has played one of these it's it's, it's not universal they're more like arcade games yeah, than they are sports, sports game. game i feel like yeah. like i feel like skate is a sport tony hawk is like an arcade game okay i can like, get on board with that i just feel like this is one of those games where ever like you say tony hawk and they're like oh i i love that game it was so good yeah it's like i'm, I'm not i'm not a skater never really touched the skateboard when I play this game, but, you know, it's like I've, I've played cool. it. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. what's, yeah. what's also really cool about this, too, is, like, seeing all these maps and be like, that's what that was supposed to be? Man, I did not get that oh, back yeah. in the place. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, like a pile of garbage. It's like, oh, that was actually supposed to be, oh, like, yeah. a pipe or something. <laughs> just, like, <laughs> textures. Or, like, the, the, the dam, like, the, the actual dam that you just skate <laughs> just like through, like, shit. before it was, like, a mall <laughs> or something. Like, oh, this, yeah, I like, know, it actually right? looks Funny. with like how the <laughs> tile was and stuff it totally did look like it's like it well, so, so it's, well. it said they're uh um they're adding um famous legendary skaters are those from the olden days or does that include now probably gonna be a mix i would think i'm sure they're gonna have all of, like tony's friends on there uh, but then they'll probably have like new up and coming or like really popular skaters now to sell the game I mean, yeah, I don't know. I only saw that it said like all the originals. So, oh okay. I don't know. If Maybe it a has, DLC pack. Because, yeah. because how far? Because that's the thing. Pass? How far? <laughs> oh how far, <laughs> no, jeez. Get your gun with Scat Tony Hawk. <laughs> but so, because that's the thing. Like, how far are they gonna go with calling it a remastered? Because I, it would be cool to make it more modern. But if they're limiting themselves, yeah, it's remastered, to right? That, one to one remaster. Yeah. And Does like in in all seriousness to like PJ's point, like do we see a battle pass and like them release like I don't know Tony Hawk Pro Skater three stages down the line and like you know what I mean? Like just add on to this title. Right. Um, you know, I don't know. We'll have to see. Interesting that they're putting this out. But it look, it's probably, you know, like an Activision Goodwill thing. Not to mention they've been um, they've been seeing some pretty good success lately with their remasters and stuff. <laughs> you know, with like yeah. their, their Crash remasters and their Spyro remaster. So, you know, just going through the back catalog and, and pumping out remasters of what they can. Because nostalgia sells. Yay. All right. So now let's air our grievances oh God, about so Call of Duty. So much. Finally get to talk about Call of Duty again. Modern Warfare. Oh, yeah. <laughs> itching. Oh, <laughs> so much new happen. stuff and so much craziness. I love all but of is it. Is it new though? I, semi. Oh, there was double XP. Well, I'm going to talk about this a little bit in last week's podcast, but the servers were just like borked. Janked. Bork. And That's they kind of have been. They're Bork. still not great. They're still kind of janky a little bit, but they're a lot better than better. they were. They're like ninety or eighty percent. Hold on, PJ. The other day I had issues. Remember? Oh yeah, he couldn't get on at all. It just would yeah, not let like, still... him. We were planning to play a nice, decent amount of a session, and like we couldn't do anything. Like crapped, I couldn't do. Crap the map. What the heck? Yeah, it's been wow. pretty bad about not letting you on in general. Um, the like matchmaking times for games is ridiculous. Like, I'm talking, like, there were times where minutes. I just couldn't get Ground War. Yeah, like, 10 minutes. And, straight up like, for TDM, ground war dude, Ground War is one mm-hmm. thing, but TDM games. The yeah. Most yeah. Popular... Like, you only need 12 players. Right, it is the most popular players. playlist. Yeah. And I, I think, can't find I a think... game for five minutes? What? Yeah. That's bull. Yeah. <sighs> so annoying. I think everybody was playing on that chip yeah. <laughs> And they, <laughs> they did, uh, I know, right? They did uh, extend the XP out a little bit. Honestly, I don't really think they extended out as long as they should have. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I think they should have extended it all the way out to into the, the subsequent weekend. weekend. The next yeah. month. Yeah. 
<laughs> but you know, it is what it is. Well, it was still broken the servers are still broken. Are they better. were like slightly yeah, better, but they were still broken when the double XP extension was out. So right, more people still yeah. didn't get to use the double EXP. I know. Uh, so it's like they didn't solve any problems for anybody. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but at the same time. All these gripes, guys. We still end up playing. It. Oh no, I still, still love a, the game. Still a good game. <laughs> I, I'm passionate. The problem is we want it. to play it. Yes. Like, right. Like right. the problem is like if I didn't want to play the game, I wouldn't give a shit if the servers were broken. For right. all those listeners out there, we just need some place to vent, okay? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's talk about the new guns. Okay. Uh, There's new guns. Uh, uh, SKS. The well, they're not new. They're new for the season. Yeah, new for the season. There is one that's kind of new, new. Which is the Bruin. Oh, yeah, yeah. Brunette. But we'll go from the bottom to the top, right? Hot. Uh, Renetti. Mm-hmm. Oh, very good. Broken as hell. Oh, it's broken. Um, Those pistols should not be able to kill, like, outshoot like a LMG. Shotgun. Yeah. Or a shotgun. Or a shotgun. My, my biggest shotgun. gripe is uh, you should not have a gun that's a pistol that outperforms an assault rifle like the yeah. FAMAS. Or what yeah. is it called in this game? Um, the FAMAS. FR556. Five, five, oh. yeah, yeah, exactly. Or FAMAS. Called the FAMAS. People Just call it the FAMAS. FAMAS. Why the Just hell can a little tiny hand pistol mm-hmm. have a, t- a, a quicker time to kill, a more accurate time to kill, um, and then it's just it feels like a better gun altogether. Like it, yeah. it feels like yeah. what the FAMAS should be. I feel right, like if exactly. you're akimboing a pistol, you should not be able to be that accurate. Like all the Kimbo mm-hmm. should be just like just all over the place. Yeah, that's so weird because I remember back in my day, I uh, akimboed like umps, like mm-hmm. UMPs. And the 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 cursor it's or what do you call place. it? <laughs> yeah, it's just the spray city. The, yeah, yeah, the cock right. there is it's, the whole screen. But this like one, wall this of is, it's like a it's a, it's an olive. The size yeah. of well, an olive. Right. Well, don't you know that if you're wielding two in both your hands, you have more accuracy. Yeah, oh. it, it sets off the balance instead of your body yes. spinning yeah. to the right yeah. and left. It just like exactly. pushes you whenever, in. whenever you're aiming your pistol, you need to aim it to the side, not look down. Like I even <laughs> feel exactly. guilty, but I, to, uh, I didn't tell you guys, but I already got uh, the akimbo with the burst and the gold skin. So uh, I'm replacing Gross. my shotgun. Um, what the heck? Are you taking oh, out your oh, shoddy? Oh, what? Yes. Oh, because no. well, I, I mean, it's basically to... a shot. Yeah, it, it is. is. It is. It's like a, a pocket gun. shoddy. I'm, I'm I flabbergasted and hurt well, for your well, shotgun. The, there's advantages, PJ, because I don't have to run overkill anymore. That's true. And, it's a lot faster. And with a 27 uh, mag, a 27 uh, round mag, per I like, I never run out of ammo. So I'm just so I might be it. yeah I might be retiring my uh, twelve thousand oh twelve oh, twelve thousand so yeah twelve we'll see kill. next week I wouldn't be surprised if we're talking about big nurse oh I hope they big do. Renetti nurse I, no. I, I, no, I just, don't touch it I just, just so bring it I just got it yeah. so, oh, I'm, please, I'm expecting so much time. I'm expecting them to probably widen the uh, the spread of the bullets. I want the whole and screen probably to probably increase the uh, yeah. burst delay quite a bit. No cursor, oh, just yeah, no cursor. On the bullets Come itself. On. It only takes two shots to kill people with that pistol. Well, the so I think they probably want to keep it as a pretty quick t- time to kill. And yeah, but look at the other that. So that's why. I'm, See, the very least, the accurate. other pistols are pretty fast. Mm-hmm. It's three. See, at the I mean, very... the Desert Vehicle can two sh- or can one shot to the head. At the very minimum, yeah, it should be as. Uh, the two, spread sh- two shot the, to the body, I bet as fast as the Renetti can burst. Yeah, I guess so. At the very minimum, the spread should be as wide, if not wider, than the 725 sh- a sawed off. Yeah. Because yeah. you have two mm-hmm. freaking pistols that aren't necessarily aiming at the same direction. Yeah. <laughs> They're like a bad nip tuck. Like, why yeah. is it so tight? Like, oh, okay, moving on. Yeah. Like I said, likely a nurse coming down the line here. Moving on to another gun that is also very good and it will probably get nerfs pretty soon is the SKS. I don't think it's going to get nerfed. Uh, I haven't tried it yet. I don't know. What makes it? I, it's not Joey, I wouldn't Joey, be surprised what if it, it has an increased repo. So it's basically a uh, it's basically the EBR 14 right with its one shot headshot two shot body shot. Denver. But it has a faster rate of fire and less recoil. Yeah, that that I can agree to because I've been and you, using that. Yeah, and you can put a thirty round magazine on it. 
Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so that makes sense, yeah. If they if they right. can't do anything to it, though. If they yeah. nerf it whatsoever, other than the fire rate, they break the gun. And then it's poop. Just give it more recoil. That too. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, it's, it's a high it so caliber. you have to time your shots a little bit more at longer ranges. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's, it's a high caliber weapon. Like, why Why is there, like, negative recoil? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm on, I'm on his Wait, head I'm again. Intrigued how... Like the recoil is so negative that I'm like, no, it's but if it's negative, home when you shoot, it, it it snaps it off down. the target. <laughs> yeah, when you shoot, it goes down. It pulls down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you shoot but them I'm in the, the head, and then you I'm shoot them in the body. It. Like I have to artificially put recoil in with my mouse pew, just pew. to make it feel like a real gun. <laughs> you just like swing your mouse up, just like that's the <laughs> way it should be. Better. <laughs> this is right, guys. <laughs> um. I love that. But game. I agree. I'm trying to get the final skin for it with the level 100 uh, battle pass. Yeah, that's my next gun. I'm leveling up. I'm actually leaving my comfort zone, guys. The Whoa. M4 and the 725. Oh no! Oh I god, Derek. Now. You're just <laughs> you're everything like the that the sweatiest, community hates you. You're like everything wrong. Hey, with nobody. To to be fair, nobody uses the SOCOM rounds. That's that true. I know of. That's true. like I love yeah, the SOCOM true. rounds so much better. That's the than, only redeeming factor. Of your whole build, otherwise it is full on gamer it's sweat strong. mode. I'm telling you guys, you, you need to try it again. I think it's just you guys suck at aiming because those ten rounds can wipe out like three people if they're stacked up. I'm just I don't like multi shot guns in the first place. If I could just use snipers, I it. probably would. But there are a lot of situations where an assault rifle is better. True. Sorry, folks. Before we move on to the final gun, I believe that Brandon unfortunately has to leave us. Oh, yeah. No. yeah. Unfortunately. So. Well, That's all right. what, Brandon, what's your opinion so far on Call of Duty? Uh, Close start, bro. <laughs> there's a duty that needs that, that has a calling. Excellent. Nice. All exactly. the callings are the duties. Thank you for that input. All right. for. Thank you for joining us, Brandon. Yeah, glad to have you on. I'm always glad to have you on again. Bye. Thanks for having me. Bye, Bye Brandon. Bye, Brandon. Thanks oh. for being a guest star. And then that final gun. Next, next weapon. Next gun. We got the Bruin Nine. Bruin Bruin Nine. Oh. What is yeah, this? Bruin what kind nine. of gun is this? UCLA? It is a uh, light machine gun. Oh, I did try it. It's oh, super wow. good. Modeled after the M249 saw. Uh, I saw that. It's really good. Probably the <laughs> maybe the best light machine gun now. Ooh, I should use more. Uh, really? It's um, got a really good, really good rate of fire. I feel three like the shot. Holger's still better. Holger's yeah. no. Well, the the thing is, the Holger is not a saw. It it's doesn't have saw, the, the saw is it, the version like it's it's your version of like the Renetti. It's a laser. I love and I it, love it, the it, saw. It, it has a faster time to kill. Yeah, like a pretty exactly. significant Ooh, faster time how, to kill. Like I haven't used it. How do you unlock it? Is where so is it? So that's the thing. It kind of has so a weird unlock thing oh. where you have to get killed while what? the target is like near smoke. It's, yeah, it's three kills oh. for fifteen different rounds when yeah. it's near and smoke. I did it. We that's all did it the other so night. It was a grind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they also recently changed it and made it easier because people were complaining about how hard it was. Oh, they increased the radius. So now they increased the radius and they made it so that it's not just your opponent. You can also be next to the smoke. Okay. So like That's if you're in smoke and you shoot somebody outside the smoke, it also counts. So any oh. any LMG? Any oh, LMG. Yeah. No. Okay. I just use so the Holger. Word. But oh, yeah. so, it's probably going to be pretty easy. Here's the kicker. Me and Joey, John, did you do it too already? I, I finished it before you guys. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, yeah, I mean, we did it before. LMG, so it makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Hello. But, John is our LMG. Support yeah, but he doesn't man. use smoke. So I, I'm not sitting there consciously thinking, oh, maybe he got it. I, unless it was. By yeah, you got to understand no matter what happens, John is the first to an LMG. Okay. Mm -hmm. like, but, and he's a grinder. He Surprisingly enough, John, you don't like grinding, but you no. always grind your weapons so well, very hard. Uh, it's no, it's it's more. I get bored of the weapons, and I, I like trying new things out. Oh, so it's I like see. it's it's more of a goal to like stop using that weapon. So it's like once I'm done with this, I move on to another weapon. Well, oh, so I don't. That's not me. I got yeah. I got it in um, 
what is it? The shoot the ship playlist, and then Joey uh, got it in the the full on twenty four seven shipment. Yeah, just regular right shipment. The day after, like six hours after we finished the challenge, yeah, for literally him, hours. They changed it to the easier way to get it, and we stayed up for an extra oh, four hours. I know you made me. I already had it. Uh, <laughs> it was hilarious. Hello. This is a perfect time for Honestly, me. Honestly, though, to try I think it. you guys were more upset than I was. I, I'm kind of. Oh no, I laughed. <laughs> I was like, I woke up and I got a message on my phone saying updates, blank, blank, blank. I was like, lol. <laughs> and then an hour, like not even an hour, like 15 minutes later, Joey texted me. They made the challenge easier, and I said I cried and laughed. <laughs> oh. Anyway, all the new guns, unique, very fun, very good. Uh, we also had some leaks, kind of leaks. They were more like data oh. mines. Um, so yeah. a bunch of uh, different game modes were data mined for VR. Um, the most notable ones we're going to bring up are duos, right? Everybody's Finally. creating duos. It's oh, been wow. leaked. It's in the code. It's still not out, but it's in the code, right? Wow. There's another one that I'm excited about, which is called Classic VR. Oh, um, it Ooh. takes out the contracts the gulag oh, no. uh and the buy stations oh god mm -hmm. so no loadouts no gulag no just classic vr that sounds really interesting land somewhere get guns rely on the guns that you find right oh no perks right oh, no. so nobody is going to have yeah. like ghosts and you know That's stuff cool. like that so I'm um, try it. yeah sure. i'm very because like ultimately like i'm kind of fine with the contracts and stuff like that but really my issue with the war zone has always been the loadouts i think that they're they mm -hmm. kind of yeah. make the gameplay boring in yeah. my opinion because every like every situation comes down to the same people using the same guns and yeah. everybody's got like best in slot weapons and i find it boring i find yeah. it more interesting when you just use what you can find and yeah. like you have to rely on the stuff around you. That's scary. I, like I know that, it's scary though. and that's why it's fun. Like we always like pick up all these you know, weapons and stuff. I'm like, Ooh, ooh this, yeah, this is really fun and cool to use. Like, but then the we get a crate and like, and like oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. We're always, required to get our loadout to be at the I level. I kind of feel I mean, like I've felt like since the beginning that they should just, they should have had classic VR to, the, to begin with. But then in Warzone, you should just drop with your loadout like you do in Plunder, mm -hmm. right? Because, like, what's, what's even the point of having all the other well, weapons and stuff when you're only going to use them for, like, the first two or three minutes of the match, maybe, and then you're going to buy yourself a loadout? Right. Yeah. Oh, well, I think, I think they should just experiment with removing the purchasing aspect of it and just have it as a thing to bring, bring parties together, like we discussed several yeah. weeks ago. Yeah, because, like, ultimately, the only thing that I'm don't like about like the classic VR is that there won't be per like you won't be able to purchase players back into the game yeah, really. I, think that fe oh. I think that feature should so, stay yeah so you're dead you're just dead yeah you're just dead I don't really like that oh, like, that's what I hate or whatever. I, I hate yeah. it when, yeah cause then like and, I don't know that especially with well it might not happen as bad and you never know they could implement like a down shield so like when you're on the ground, you're like shielded or something like that. But um, yeah, the VR in Warzone has a particularly bad thirsting issue because you never know if a player has a self revive or not, right? So even when mm -hmm. you down them, you need to immediately neutralize them because they could crawl around a corner and pop up and shoot you from behind, right? I, mean, I want to point something out really quick. Joey used the term thirsted. It is not something I made up. So nerd. No, everybody says thirst. <laughs> exactly. Nerds. But these two, like we were playing, and then I said thirsted, and they're like, What's thirsted? Oh, I don't need a candidate right were, now. They're yeah, all like exactly. they're like, stop making stuff like, up. I'm like, that means I killed say... the, the fucker that was on the yeah. ground. <laughs> exactly. Just say he's dead. He's dead. Nah, it's called thirst. It's called thirsting. And then you say uh, knocked for when they oh get knocked my. down. No, but it's uh, overcomplicating. Anyway. Thirsting. So you gotta be interesting. Down. Yeah. Uh, or, more stuff uh, that got leaked. Apparently, there's stuff in the code indicating that the second VR map will be Urzik Stan. Second, second VR map. Yeah. Wow. I know. Yeah, like, there's rumors stuff. that there's oh going to be a God. new VR map. It's going to be set in Urzik Stan. So, and I'm actually very excited for this because so chances happened? are. Oh, go ahead. 
Well, and so chances are Urzik stands not going to have a giant downtown area. Right, yeah. right, right. And like my it's based largest off of Middle Eastern. Yeah, my largest kind of issue with the mm-hmm. BR map is the giant downtown area that takes up like a good 40% of the map. I agree. Right. Like we, when we play, we try to make it a point to avoid all of downtown because it's just dangerous as hell. And also doing contracts there, it's the worst. It's just a nightmare, right? Because yeah, people because... will be up in the buildings and mm-hmm. yeah. And then and when, so oh, like, like, oh, go ahead. Well, no, keep going. Go ahead. Okay, well, I, well, the other day, if you recall, guys, <laughs> Go ahead. I I had to get a scavenger so I could afford to bring these guys back oh. alive. And so it starts off with on the ground. Then I have to get the first scavenger at the top of one of the second tallest oh, yeah. building. <laughs> then I had to go back down for the second scavenger chest at the underground. And the third one was all the way on the first tallest building. So it with- back up. Yeah, I didn't make it because the gas was there. So, it was so, it was pretty funny to watch. Down. So the first one was twelve stories. It was the hospital. The second building, he got to the eighteenth floor. We never found out how tall it was. <laughs> he just no, we saw, no, PJ, we saw the light. That, yeah, the 18th it, was, floor. it was eighteenth floor. Was, was the oh, it was the last way. one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. I just so all sad. I saw is you fucking down and fall down the stairs, and I was like, it's over. I, I didn't use it, it was so hilarious. I I, I kind of enjoyed so, it. So this is the case. And again, this is like all speculation because it's just like some data mine stuff that's in the code. But exciting if it is, like Urzik Sand yeah. probably gonna have more rocks and stuff, so it's gonna Ooh, have a little bit more cover. Um, oh, and it's probably going to obviously not have like a giant downtown area, so you're not gonna have to deal with that so with as much like elevation. What if you have yeah, the capital no, city of Urzik Stan? Or, 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 right. Stan. And I could very easily Stan. see it being the like go to BR map for everybody. So are we oh, going to have different game modes? That would be... No, well, so that's the question. question. So how do they? are they going to do it like PUBG, where you queue up for the map that you want to play on? Or like, Fortnite, where they destroy like, uh, the original yeah. map? That's a, I don't like yeah. that. Cause I the, doubt that they're going to destroy the original map, because the point is that it's a different map, right? It's right. Urza yeah. Stand. It's not like not they have like over danced. 60 million people right. playing it. It's <laughs> true. Threat. All true, true, true. <laughs> It keeps it fresh, or like if you if they well, really need to, if they're afraid of splitting up the 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 player base, then maybe rotate it right. like between. Yeah. Something. I don't know, but, but don't like it all that the way. actually, that's actually one of the biggest gripes that I have with this newest Call of Duty is how like we're we're only allowed to play what Activision wants us to play at any given time, right? right? And it means that like a lot of the kind of side more obscure game modes that I would want to play. I can't play most of the time. Yeah. Like, right? like demolition's like, weird. Why did they took demolition out of the main stay playlist? Yeah. And well, that's because just... demolition just got added back. Oh, so, so demolition. D- Derm- De- yeah, demolition might be a permanent oh, okay. addition from now on. Like, uh, but, but also but, reinforce. That was a fun. Right. Yeah, and, I and, like, and like yeah. the night vision modes. Uh-oh. realism modes right they like, better, you guys but... don't like them but i like i like that slower pace of gameplay and i find it interesting and particularly i really like realism ground war but it's only ever around for like a week at a time every like two months they need to make um 10v10 shipment permanent no. Uh, <laughs> I'm it now. Call of Duty players only uh, want one thing and it's disgusting. Well, I mean, like, I, guess I don't care it's if it gets it out of my like map <laughs> rotation. Because yeah. that's the problem is I don't like that that shipment is taking up what could potentially think, be like realism or, or real realism shipment. Brand I, I, or. Think, I think um, I think the developers are mad because everybody's playing shipment and not yeah. the actual game type they're, they're curating for us. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and that's why I think well, no, they that's the thing is they can't yeah, have 24 hour shipment. They should that's 24 hour shipment is a like exclusive thing that happens every once in a while so that everybody can get on and grind out their skins and stuff. Yeah. And that's then it I, should go like... away for a while. Mm-hmm. Right. Like it should be a special thing when it comes around. If they have it around twenty four seven, then it's literally just going to be the only game mode that ever gets played. Uh, and yeah. yeah, other than for like the tryhards that only play search, 
it is a treat <laughs> it is a treat um i i do lo- love how hectic it is compared to the normal shipment so but it will get tiring fast and it, it like joey like you just said it'll just turn into a tool for you at that point which is not good for the game the community all right moving on so hopefully that map is a thing I, i'm looking forward to that hopefully because i would prefer a different br map but uh activision did come out and well specifically infinity ward came out and talked a little bit about um what's in store for the future of warzone Uh and they they basically kind of described it as like warzone new call of duties will continue to come out but like warzone will be the thread that ties them all together oh right so it seems like go on Warzone's gonna sense. stick around, and and stick around as like the BR mode, mm-hmm. and then when out when other games come out, they'll like either add weapons or like add a new map or something yeah. to so, the Warzone game mode, which so I think is very smart considering like smart. what happened with with uh, the blackout mode, how it was kind of just left in the dust when yeah. you everybody moved on from Black Ops Four. Well, they, yeah, they did integrate it well enough. So, will they, um, for each new game, will they have like a new a, a tab separate for Warzone as well, just like Modern Warfare? I, I don't know. That's a good question. Separate it into its separate its own app. Right. I think it's probably more likely that you see Warzone get separated into its own application that you boot up. Yeah. Individually. Right. I think I hope that's what they do because I really don't want to have to download and the Black like, Ops launcher. <laughs> qu- quoted oh, no. here specifically here from Amos Hodge, who's the creative director over at Raven, uh, said, "Warzone is like its own product. We want to support it like it's a full product with new game modes and updates." That's nice. I hope that they do that. I'd be so happy. I I don't want to have to jump those types of games because like now Black Ops is going to come out next year the audience is going to get split off and I'm going to be sad because I love modern warfare so much. Like I want this to stay as it is, but I know that's not realistic for a call of duty game. Uh, I feel like it's still going to retain at least half the audience, which is good. Um, unless of it, because like, I feel like black ops and new black ops is going to be rushed from what I'm hearing. Uh, so it might be a broken, bad game and people might just go, Oh, never mind, And then go back to modern warfare. But I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to hold on to the nostalgia a little bit wait, longer. When is it coming out? Next year. Is it this year? Oh, next year. So it, it, oh, it no, is no, a so two this year. year. This year, November. Oh, no. Yeah, it's, yeah not, Black Ops supposed to come out this breathing year. space. Oh, I know. They really need it to. to be but a that's, spread it out. you know, that's they never how Call of Duty did such a good job with Modern Warfare. Oh, my God. That's never how, they did such a good job with like, Modern Warfare 2. I'm going to think what came out the year after. Yeah, I'm not going to get Black Ops. I'm just going to keep playing Modern Warfare. Well, and I think that's, I think they expect that, right? And I think that's been the way that Call of Duty's worked for a long time. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I think like, that. Every, like every other you, title. You have, game. yeah, you have people who do pick up every single Call of Duty title, but I think it's, I think it's more common for people to pick up Call of Duty titles that excite them here and there. Yeah. Cause like, so. Yeah, because you're right. Modern Warfare does excite me. Like it has everything what that I kind of wish for or wanted in Call of Duty for a long time, and all they had to do is look back a few years to their original games. Right. So, what what will Black Ops offer me, um, for me to jump ship to that game? I don't like, think it's going to. Black Ops yeah. just feels like a completely different game than any I never yeah. never got, World games. Yeah, exactly. And, and I never got no any. Way. I never got any Black Ops games, not one. I played three of them, and every single time I hoped that I liked them, three yeah. was the one that was closest to my heart, I guess. But the rest of Wait, it... Black Ops 3? Yeah, that was the only one that I kind of, like, kind of Black. could deal with. The only good Black Ops game is Black Ops 1. I and I didn't one. like Black Ops 1. And that's a fact. The, the hit markers yeah. were so broken, they didn't work. Yeah, they whatever. eventually fixed them, granted. I will say that, but it just doesn't feel as nice. I, there's so many games that I can sit there. Infinity Ward broke me forever with hit markers because they do such a fantastic job at making them feel like you're actually hitting something. 
Yeah. Oh, it's a sound it's effect? satisfying. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I agree. You're totally right. It's crisp. It's clear. It's concise. Mm-hmm. You know what's going on. You they know worked on that. Me. They worked on that sound for a long time. You can tell. They're, yeah, there's, it's, it's different. Yeah. It, it is a it's rewarding sound. It is. It is. It it's releases the original, endorphins into your head. The original is more, more thuddy. This one is more crisp. Yeah, uh, but it still feels the same. Oh, I was gonna say with Black Ops, I was almost tempted to buy Black Ops because of the dog, the the dog kill streak. But yeah. oh, I, I resisted. Right, right. That was Black Ops. The dog, the dog was kill streak is a World War Two or Five. Yeah. Or the, I mean, Black Ops has dogs too. But... Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. There was dogs in Treyarch Black Ops. created Call of Duty Doges. Five. All of the all of the Treyarch Call of Duties kind of have dog they kill streaks. Uh, yeah, for the most part, I it's think. Cool. I guess the, like with the other the new one of the newest skins for this uh, Modern Warfare season with a dog. It, yeah, there's it's a dog a little, in assassination. Uh, it's a little yeah, more. Take a little all right, we're getting long in the tooth here, guys. So <laughs> Wait, I'll but I love. On. Let's keep talking about Call of Duty. Like, no, okay, we've Next been week. going. It's almost two hours now. Okay. All right. Moving on, we need to close okay. out here with PJ's impression of Ghost Runner. Ghost Runner. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, it's a demo. Yeah, so What's it, it all- this replaced the indie game quickie for this week. Um, Ghost Runner is something I talked about a couple weeks ago. It is a wall runner parkour, uh, parkour. parkour. like assassination game. It's very, very fast paced. I was sick when I watched the trailer, and I started. I was a little sick when I first played the game, but I was showing Garrick, and he's like, turn off the motion yeah. blur fixed all of my problems um, you're welcome so it, it yeah, motion blur is awful I'm yeah it should interrupt be. you i don't understand why, why? people insist on putting <laughs> it in migrate. games it it's looks make terrible it look more it cinematic sick, it's so it's, yeah it doesn't work for gameplay no. the frame rate is the like you don't understand the motion blur for this the frame rate was so slow it's like a one-to-one <laughs> it was bad. so it's like the moment you move because the the controls were so fast Oh yeah, I felt like I was gonna puke because it was like, Wee! Um, yeah. it was like max it settings on a mouse. <laughs> uh, so I turned it down a little bit. I turned off the motion blur. Fantastic fucking game. Yeah, and when Amazing. we could see, we could finally see what it looked like. It looked great. <laughs> Amazing game. Super difficult. So this is one of those games that you're gonna play that's super fast paced. It's like you mm-hmm. you work on your precision. You have to yeah. like you're gonna make a shit ton of mistakes, and you have to be okay oh, yeah. with that. And you have to be. They died so much. Oh my god. It was god. bad. But oh. yeah, like you have to keep working at it to figure out like what direction do I have to move? What specific like movement do I have to make in order to kill this unit? You, I... it's a one shot, one kill game. You have no extra life. Like it resets you back to to the previous save point where you were like fighting the the group of guards or whatever. Point, yeah. So the demo you're running through like a penitentiary area trying to reach this like creature thing that's talking to you through your comms and he's oh, telling spoiler. you like I'm going to boot you up in like fi- cuz you're like cybernetic uh and get your like fix your hardware or something. Uh, the wall running feels clean. The movement feels fantastic. It it reacts the way that it's supposed to. I didn't run into any glitches personally, other than when I was trying to close the game, it wouldn't close. So I had to close Why down scene completely. More? That's the only issue I ran into. I joined. This is how much I loved it. I joined the Discord community. I never ever oh ever God. do that kind of what stuff. The heck? And I was looking. Who are you? At the, Who are you? complaints that other people had some people ran into some glitches where they were getting stuck on stuff it was just or there were sound glitches whatever i didn't run into any of it i thought the game was absolutely fantastic i will be one of the avid supporters of it getting it probably not day one but pretty close to day one or when it goes on sale um but the com it it felt like mirror's edge but quicker and the combat actually felt clean it didn't feel clunky it didn't feel gross it was very clean the movement was fantastic. I cannot praise this game any more than anything. my my only my only complaint of watching PJ play is I saw more of his death screen than anything. I died a lot, <laughs> but it felt so good. It, and it, well, you say it's the uh, Dark Souls of first person parkour shoot. Yeah, it seem. Oh, definitely. It, it's not quite as punishing, but close and. I've never had so much fun dying. Like I'm usually the type that gets pissed off to the max when I'm like, fr- like frustrated and getting stuck in a situation. Reuse, I can't get up. I was hard. laughing 
the whole time. I was like, this is so fucking amazing and fun. Uh, so I can't praise this game more than anything else in the world. Like, I love this game already before it even comes wow. out. Um, and Sounds it runs cool. beautifully. Like, I have everything at max settings on my dumpy computer, and it runs beautifully. Oh, very, yeah, computer. it's very well optimized. Fantastic. Cool. Well, everybody go check out Ghost Runner. Demo's um, you played free. the demo of it now. Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, and let's close out today's show with a little bit of John's thoughts on oh Assassin's God. Creed Odyssey. Oh, wow. oh. Oh. Let's keep it real brief. Too short. Okay. Uh, uh, it's, I only played like a few hours. Uh, uh, um, it's uh, it's meh, meh. Oh, uh, so the, the only uh, Assassin's Creed I, I played were up to Brotherhood. So it's the Ezio's kind of Altair's journey kind of thing where you were actually an assassin. So coming into Odyssey, uh, I don't I don't like the RPG elements. That's it's annoying. And I just want to I just want to assassinate table. people. So yeah, hopefully I with Valhalla. That. They uh, go back to the OG assassinations because I'm a stealth player. When it comes to stealth games, I only do stealth. And right, yeah. having to assassinate someone and realizing your assassination kill doesn't kill the person and it just alerts everyone is really aggravating. And that happens a few times when I was playing through. So, yeah. I'll still play it. I'll still continue playing it. Yeah. But it's just not hit, quite hitting on the notes that you wish yeah. it was. Yeah. 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 And yeah. That makes yeah. sense. Like we talked about, maybe Assassin's Creed Valhalla will kind of ref- yeah. return to form like, a little m- bit. Maybe if they want RPG, make it RPG light. Like maybe the the skill tree is nice, mm-hmm. yeah. but not the level well, cap for enemies and stuff. Or it's kind of eh. yeah, right. Like yeah, I should be able to see like an armor guy. That makes sense if I can't assassinate him or something. But it's like, why is this random person a level ten? Yeah, and I feel like I feel like a game that balanced that relatively well was. Um, the uh, Shadow of Mordor series, mm-hmm. Shadow of War. I didn't play Shadow of War, but Shadow of Mordor at least. You got like runes for your weapons that like, you know, would give them like fire damage and stuff like that. But you could yeah. still just straight up assassinate an orc and drag him into the yeah. grass. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, they like didn't if, like if, compromise the, the stealth for the RPG yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's like if I spend the time like sneaking past the guards and didn't kill anyone and to get to this you know, leader I'm supposed to assassinate, why, why do I have to still fight him? Yeah. yeah, they should. Right. They they just need to find a happy medium and add that feature back in. Like in certain cir- circumstances, let's say you creep up behind somebody, you should be able to assassinate this huge guy instead of damaging him like twenty five percent. Yeah, only. it's like right. Yeah. yeah, that feels gross. I and I play mm-hmm. games like that, and I was like, eh, yeah. why? What's the but also also with John coming from Brotherhood, which I might add is one of my favorite ones of the game, uh, or of the yeah. series. Um, it, it does feel really jarring for you to come from that to Odyssey because me personally, I played almost all of them and it got tiring with the same formula and I was mm-hmm. hoping for something different, which they gave me something different. It was just maybe too different yeah. at certain points. Yeah, and if they can find around Because like me too, I haven't played them, but knowing me personally, I tend to really like like loot and stuff. And like character builds and stuff like that. I'm not big so on grindy like, either. So I wouldn't want them to completely get rid of like the armor and the weapons. Yeah, that's and that's stuff kind like of that. cool having the, the armor and loot because you can see you know your just character make it attachment centric. Like take away the levels yeah. and just make it like a, a loot system. Yeah, you find yeah. It's like if you don't want me to yeah. wear high level armor, just don't make me able yeah. to loot higher level armor. You just, see, like, you just yeah. got the armor. You got Altair's father's armor at the end of the game. Yeah, but I still, I, I still like the idea of it, like being able to do poison oh, that's damage yeah, that's, and that's, like, yeah. stuff like that's that. Okay. You know what I mean? Like I still like the idea of like having like an RPG esque, like ARPG build to your character. Yeah. I mean, um, I would rather have yeah, it without the leveling system. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, exactly. Do it. Point system. Exactly. Do it without the leveling system, and well, I would still like to find stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, well, for the idea of finding, or take gear. off the level requirements and have the level there, but that all right. it does is it gives you points. Also, you have yeah. abilities in this game. It's like one of the abilities is to poison your 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 uh, weapons, which I find weird. I wish it was an actual item you have to combine with your weapons rather than like a cooldown skill it, it yeah. just it just felt really weird that at is. least in my like assassin's creed mindset where it's like kind of kind of grounded mm-hmm. uh, where it, this is like really fantasy so kind now. of feeling yeah 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 very rpg now. Yeah. for the game 
<laughs> Odyssey. Assassin's I don't Creed like story. it. Uh, and like we no, said earlier, yeah. we'll, we'll might see a return to form here with yeah, Valhalla. I hope so. But yeah, they've, le- anyway, they've definitely that, learned. Yeah, yeah, and Ubisoft, I think, and I think a lot of the what happened with the Assassin's Creed game has to do with kind of the direction their creative team was going at Ubisoft, and now that they have like openly admitted and came out and said that they're kind of taking a new direction and trying to diversify their games a little bit more. Um, I, we might see like a less of that RPG stuff in the next Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Definitely make but, a whole new RPG game. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Anyway, that is going to do it Where? for our oh. show. Wow. Um, of course you can uh, catch us live streaming. Oh wow! Over really? On John's channel. What? Uh, cameraman John on Twitch. Uh, the cameraman John podcast. Wow! Yeah, exactly. And Usually then... uh, Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, and sometimes on a weekend. We'll surprise you! Be surprised, yeah. Um, also, and don't then... we have a? Uh... Oh yeah, go ahead. PJ, no, oh, go for it. Uh, oh. So we do have a yeah. Fat Peeps YouTube channel now. What? Our first video. Oh my god! Two off. Oh, two <laughs> So Ta-da. check that out. We actually put up a highlight of one of our previous streams, but we're going to have what? brand new, fresh off the press content yes. that has never been Whoa. aired before. What's oh the content? Odyssey. Too. That is amazing. Odyssey what what kind of content will we will we be seeing going forward so in this thing? We're going towards a let's play ish type formula. Let's play Assassin's Creed Odyssey, maybe. So we Perhaps? have an Odyssey. What? And okay. And uh, you'll see on Thursday what the other one we're doing. Oh, what? So, oh, it's uh, a secret. It's a secret. Why, yeah, why is so, it secret? But okay. we will be posting. It I don't know. Let everyone see what it is. Watch this all the way through. Go watch our content over there. Like, subscribe. Do everything. Come follow it's us. That, Bring that your friends. Bell button. Oh, no. Yep, that Girl, bell. Smash that Smash like that. that like button. And then, just to give them the heads up, we will be posting every Tuesday and Thursday there as well. So a lot of Comment. content for you guys. You guys will have unlimited content from us. Wow, never ending flow. Oh, yeah, never and it's ending. killing me. So it's like, it's okay. <laughs> I love it though. Yeah, sounds like somebody's making money moves. Wow. wow. Eh, we'll see. All right, that's it. All show, depends everybody. on you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening, and Thank guys. you, everybody thank you. who's on the show with me, PJ, Garrick, yeah. John. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Hope you like our Call of Duty talk. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for listening. Bye, Carl. Bye. Thank Bye. you, Timmy. Go ahead and do your stuff. Timmy. Timmy.